I haven't played this in like <laughs> years, dude. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. But you know. Oh, don't. I'll go through the house, of course. I'll have Gina Cross walk me through how you use freaking um HEB suits while I'm a security guard. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is, I think this is the first room that actually diverges substantially. Like, what the hell happened here? What is uh, this? It's a jumping course. Yeah, I know that, but, like, where's the pipes? <laughs> like, where's the, the cool stuff, you know? This is yeah, like, it's, it's, it's really it's, weird that, like, they made huge changes, but it's, like, based on the exact same geometry, so it's, like, the same rooms, but different. Yeah, it's, it's a different facility. They... Like, this was completely unnecessary. They could have just used the same thing, and it would have been fine. And, oh, it's because they got rid of the long jump, right. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that would do it. Yeah, and they like I said, it's a different facility, so uh, it makes sense that they would have a few differences, especially if you know the course wasn't going to be the same. Yeah. All right, all right, fine. I grudgingly accept this change. So here's some here's something strange. I want you to consider here. I want you to consider that Otis had to go through all this. Walk up to the button and press. <laughs> Wait, would he fit through this? No, 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 like, think about the jumps. Just think about him just, like, doing any of this. He's more physically fit than he looks. Look, I mean, he is, he's strong, but I mean, like, you know what I mean. I, I think he would survive this fall, to be honest. You know, he, he would have some cushioning. He would have some cushioning. Yeah. If you land on those boxes, they're just gonna fall through. Yeah, but, but a little bit more deceleration, you know? Physics. <laughs> we want you to break our break your legs in order to show how committed you are to the job. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout. Why is there an HEV charger here? Facility, because because it's to show that you can't use it. Then press to hold your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full. Plus, HEV chargers are placed all around the Black Mesa facility. They're for personnel who need them and whatever they need to do some uh, dangerous stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these pipes were fueling some sort of hazardous chemical. Another fact I want to tell is that these HEV charges are not actually HEV charges. They didn't script in anything to make it to differentiate you from a. Uh, an HEV suit, so these are literally just geometry with a script that goes, uh, beep. Are they just buttons? Alright. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're just buttons. Alright, that's how I would do it, if yeah. I were making blue shift, to be honest. Because, uh, I don't... Because I believe if you actually made a proper HEV charger, it would actually regenerate your suit. It would suit. work, right? Yeah. Because the, 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 the armor is just the suit in disguise in this game. Yeah. Bridge. Not quite as swingy. Yeah, not quite as swingy as our version. Honestly, like in retrospect, I kind of regret not using more of the original geometry in my version. Mm. Ah, oh well. Great job. You got pretty close. Okay. In what version you talk about? Uh, BM BMHC, the one we made. Yeah, cause like this room is pretty distinctive, right? Like geometry wise, it's got a lot of interesting, weird corners and crap that and, and our. It's and, because yeah, our version is just a it's box. Because of the, uh, I believe it's just because of the way uh, the game. No, 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 no. Wait, it was a Dreamcast. Dreamcast was whenever they were making um, uh, uh, decay and blue shift, they were able to put a lot more details into things. You'll notice this a lot whenever you uh, go between blue shift and normal half life. Like, oh, normal no, no, half-life half -life has the exact same geometry in this room. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, I mean I'm mean, i talking about in most locations, in normal half-life, yeah. there's not as many details in the area. Whenever you play Blue Shift, you'll notice they put a lot more work into some of the, um, what could have been more boring locations, you know what I mean? With just, like, four white walls or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, but basically, like, when I made this room, it was just, like, a box with slanted ceilings. I don't know, I think I could have made it a little bit better in retrospect. Ah eh, well. I know it was uh I know it was partly what they did with the detailing was partly due to the fact that they also had the H D models. Try jumping this gap on your own. Can I jump this gap on my own? I can. <laughs> Realistically you'd be able to climb that. Cockroach. 
Alright, I got a legitimate question. Will peer review have roaches? Oh, that's a great question. Um... Can we say this? I would like us to have roaches. Can, can we do that? Can we, we, we should do that. I yeah, have not um, about it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Black Mesa had them particle based because they were like, the NPC overhead is too high in source. I think we could probably step around that by just like not using the base classes probably. I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of what Black Mesa did I honestly didn't like compared to the original. Especially in the later chapters with Zen. I never liked their visual style with Zen. Yeah, I think we can. I can. We can make a, a dedicated roach entity. It doesn't have to be an NPC. You know what I mean? It can just be like yeah, it's um, like something that just something that kind of and everyone. then gets stepped on. Yeah, and in fact, like if we're concerned about entity count, we could even like do do the thing that Black Mesa originally wanted to do, which is like have a roach manager or something like that. Um, that wouldn't be too hard, I think. Last, say. How will you guys be handling uh the Zen stuff? DK doesn't have any Zen stuff. Well, I know, but like stuff that like Zen related stuff in Decay. Uh, like what? Wait, wait, what? 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 When does Zen make an appearance at all? Like or Zen related stuff aside from the enemies? Hmm. Well, I mean, like in in Black. How I put this? Squish. I know I'm use. I know I'm using a later game as a as a sort of basis for this, but um, it's established that Zen to an extent has a is more like a fleshy growth rather than the stone and whatnot. So what that means yeah. is that when Zen invaded Earth, there were infestations. Uh, I don't think the original had too many infestation areas, but I do think that is an area, an opportunity for us to explore. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking about, because yeah. I'm sure I'm sure when Black Mesa really was invaded by Zen, there would have probably been a lot of matter that came from Zen as well. Yeah, you know what? That's probably worth exploring in like an art study at some point. Because right now, yeah. like all of our stuff is like pretty distinctly terrestrial. Because like one of my one of my problems with Black Mesa is their visual design for Wait. Zen. They don't. You can just they do don't, this. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> they don't just like. <laughs> they don't go for the HR Geiger kind of fungal growth world that the original Zen was. They kind of go for more stone and uh based look and while i'm f that's cool and all i don't think that's a good representation of zen yeah that's all. definitely not what valve was trying to do with it uh for sure it, it was definitely supposed to be a screwed up like i said hr geiger kind of world where everything felt like flesh yeah all right well someone get nikki on that because i'm sure they would love to <laughs> explore that in yeah, the review They've got a bunch of Can you old imagine this right? dark corridors filled with Zen fungal growths and whatnot, like the walls pulsing? Ugh. You know that 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 could be cool in some parts of Crossfire for sure. Um right. like the later parts of the the the, the Vietnam areas. <clears throat> like ugh, I want Zen to be disgusting again, not beautiful. And probably less so in the intensity chapter but like maybe there could be like one or two like closets squared away away from an inhibitor or something mm. that could have something like that yeah You'll it's worth exploring in an art study terms yeah. casually but they they, they make nothing to yeah outside the team yeah i know <laughs> uh to be fair inhibitor is a thing that like is not blacklisted other than what it does but the fact that it exists is public knowledge <laughs> it is now anyway yeah. You totally don't need the flashlight in this version. Is this like a screw up? No, that can... well I mean, it might be a screw up, but like that's standard. I, I can just see. It's uh, wait. I don't remember it being like this in the original hazard course. Am I just maybe like... you're getting uh it what was last time you played it and was it on a CRT? Uh I played Hazard Course when we were making Hazard Course. I don't remember it being like this. I think it's always been, like, lighter than it needs to be for the purposes of, like, forcing you to learn how to use the flashlight. Interesting. Okay, well, alright. Ah. But it would have been darker on a CRT, I think. Yeah, probably. Well, this is an LCD panel, but even then, you know, it's still kind of... Remember, 
Your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off when you don't need it. Ah, they changed the, the line. <laughs> it will recharge itself. Your flashlight drains power. Yeah, sure. Can't go for a swim? Nope. Oh well. Target range. <laughs> Welcome to the Black Mesa Oh yeah. Range. Arm to the team. Get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. All oh, right. Yeah, this comes with half mag for some reason. I thought they changed that in the in the latest patch. I think that was for multiplayer. Oh, wait. Why would why is that that way in single player? That's kind of dumb. But whatever. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition. At a After spending time. years with our version, this just feels surreal. To fire the yeah, gun, I know, right? Use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be feels a little... by lobbing grenades. I don't know. Empty in I'll comparison. <laughs> just a bit. Just a little. But all the all the major landmarks are there. We have the breakable and breakable one. We have this weird pipe thing that this thing pops up behind. We have this pipe thing that this thing pops up behind. And we have this annoying Ooh. A little I, I missed. Oh, is auto aim turned on? Hold on, how do I turn that off? Nope, don't do that. No 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 no. no. Can't have that. Is Snoot invulnerable in this game? Wow! That's... Probably just a furniture prop. I think they only die from explosion. So oh. right, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That gib is. Oh, alien um, gib! I uh, don't remember that. Alien gib and human blood. Interesting combination. <laughs> it's like you split a cantaloupe. I like how the gib is larger than Snoot. <laughs> Ah yes, the the Half Life One MP5, which is utterly unusable. How I missed the. Congratulations, you've completed the Black Mesa training target range. You may advance to the next area. Gotta stock up on ammo. I know I can't massacre the people at the end, but still, you know, it's the thought that counts. Will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you'll be given an opportunity to surface for air. All right, let's do. Barney swimming. Well, that one's not Barney. I'm Barney. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Wait, doesn't this holograph guy have a name? He has a name, right? Like in the manual or something, maybe? Or am I thinking of uh, one of Tripmine's media that they gave him a name? Is, uh, I never had a physical copy of Blue Shift, so you haven't read the manual, but I don't recall anything on the wiki. Pass through fire or steam, you'll see damage icons come up in your heads up display. Directional indicators at the center of your display will show you from what direction damage is coming. Interesting. Can I cheese this? No, I can't. Wow, they thought of everything. Wait, I can cheese Except this. That. Just just do this. <laughs> okay, fine. Cheese this one too? Yeah, there you go. Damn it. They got me. We should have done that in our version. Just have a random explosion go off, like, <laughs> next to you for no reason. Uh, well... We did kind of do that. Yeah, but they don't hurt you. They're just there for show. <laughs> How do I go in? Damn it! Open the freaking door. Did I screw something up? What? Huh. Uh, hold on. That's weird. Did oh, I? Oh, I just missed the trigger. <laughs> that, so you can crouch into the trigger. There. Apparently, yeah. That's hilarious. Hey, good old radiation. Toxic goo. Please proceed to the next section. Okay, I definitely think our version of this room is an improvement. <laughs> I don't know, I like the high ceilings. Do you? Yeah. You know what's 
funny. Of all the rooms that... Like ours is really cramped. Of all the rooms that we made, this was the one version that did not have high ceilings. Huh. Compared to, like, all of our other rooms with really high ceilings for no reason. Yeah, that's... That's interesting. Oh, I saw the texture misalignment. You can't fool me. No! I want my weapons back, damn you. How dare you. Lead a scientist into the next room. He can't will open the door that around leads back into the transit system. system. Yes, come on. To have someone follow you, approach the person and press your use key. He will then follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Of all the security guards in Black Mesa, apparently Barney is just like the worst one. He doesn't have any credentials. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. You too. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Okay, I will wait here. Alright, which one of them wins the, the race to do the thing? Oh, you do. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's go. Press I'm going to use you to engage the colleagues. train. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Ow. Oh, is it an actual trigger? Okay, hold on. Crap. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I did it. <laughs> You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. The Blue Shift High Security Unit. Yay, yeah, there you go. Name dropping the name of the game in the first, like, ten minutes. All right. Uh, let's see. I think I think that was a success. Let's, uh... Oh, you already pinged people. Sweet. Stream notes. Uh... All right, just got through the hazard course. Has I, I, wow, I misspelled that. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> curse. Uh, Pretty sure about sorry. half of the people okay, that spell hazard course spell it incorrectly. It's fine. All right, stream notes has been pinged. It is now my not my fault if anyone misses this. All right, new game. Um, hard because I'm a moron. <laughs> I don't know why I play Half-Life games on hard. This is the worst idea. I'm not even that good at it. <laughs> oh, boy. Remember remember my opposing force playthrough? I insisted on playing on hard, and I just, like, kept getting wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Ooh. This automated train Wait. was provided for the company... Did we base our version on this? Uh, I definitely took some inspiration, yeah, yeah on this, like the fourth iteration of the tram ride. <laughs> this gives me like extremely hazard course vibes. Well, CMHC vibes. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I was gonna say, uh, before I go once again, because I'll do it in a second, I think it'd be good the visual storytelling to have maybe like a locked closet that you open and you'd see it just filled with like spores and whatnot from the Zen. Uh, Maybe yeah. have a person stuck in there. Things uh, like that. That's definitely a thing we can do. Some someone get on that in the art art, art department. <laughs> yeah. Just the the thing that's a little complicated with that is that like there is a precedent where like it's not until day two that like Gordon starts seeing Zen growth. And like oh, all the right. places place would be one. Yeah. So if you have them, they'd have to be like small. Which is a shame, because, like, it's a really cool aesthetic. That's, that's a shame. I didn't think about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no we can have, like, small amounts of it in, like, uh, the later yeah. parts of, like, Crossfire, maybe? You know, like... Yeah, know, just to, like, show that it's starting to spread and, like, the harder hit areas are going first. Exactly, yeah, and I'm thinking, like, um... The... Like, the bunker area the, toward the end, like, that could use some of it, I think. Yeah. Sorry, what did I miss? Absolutely not. We're figuring out how to do Zen growth. Yeah. If I'm glad I brought it up. <laughs> yeah, this is also an impromptu team meeting because we don't have team meetings because it's impossible to get us in one place at one time. Like, this is the first Thursday I've had off 
if it wasn't for a medical appointment in, Big Tony's I think, pizza. over a year. That is the most unsafe food court in existence. Before you will be a no, I, they don't it's have fine. rails! Where are the rails? It's fine, right you don't need railings. There's rails over there. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think one of these pizza. scientists we see are, is, was supposed to be uh, Rosenberg, like at the food court, but they changed his model and voice lines. Ah, uh, oh well. He was going to be talking with uh, the guy that you meet who gets shot in the office room. Okay. Oh, Harold? Yeah, yeah, Harold. He was going to be he was going to be at the food court talking with Harold, but for some reason they changed his model and voice lines. Also, this is the only time you see Otis in um this game other than his corpse being thrown. Uh, doesn't he show up in the shooting range? Uh, yeah, he's in the shooting range. Oh yeah, there's an Otis. Yeah. Otis is just like not seen. Right. Yeah. And it's weird because like with Blue Shift specifically, they added like I think two. I think it was two other skins for Otis, which they never that, used. There was one where it was like black, I think. Yeah, there's a black skin. I think there's also a young skin, although maybe that was just. Invented no, whole no, there was, by there was, impact or something. There was the uh the hair with no mustache and then like the bald yeah, yeah. with mustache which was both in opposing force. Oh okay, those guys were both in opposing force? Yeah, um Okay. I like there, oh, there is something there is something weird. It's that uh now arriving at Otis at one point was supposed to wear a helmet. And for some reason they just took that off him. Oh yeah, and like his deathmatch model still has it I think. Yeah, his deathmatch model still has it. Hey look, it's Gordon. Oh, blue ship's yeah. not canon because Hello. Barney had the armor on when going to the security office. <laughs> I have a flashlight though. I'll use it to bang against the, the door. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Alright. Let me in. Uh, Let bang, me in. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Hold Can I jump off here. and die? No, I can't. Wow. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it open on this side. Wow! These game developers thought of everything! Uh, Alright, I'm, I'm gonna completely ruin the timeline by staring at Gordon as he goes past. And then he's just gonna look over at you. Yeah. I, <laughs> I messed up the timeline, I call it the time paradox. Alright, anyway, let's go. Just so yell at me later, I'll people. buy you a beer. <laughs> facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonderful I'm actually still kind of upset that Black Mesa like putting a guy who's supposed to be Barney but didn't have him like look over or anything. Uh it's like he'll he miss it immediately. I don't remember, did he at least have his uh, not have a uh, armor? Oh yeah God, he had wait, no armor. Okay. But they didn't give him like wait a Wait a minute, you're playing you're playing this without the HD models. Oh no you gotta turn them on. Take a look at the uh, the pictures for example. They look inconsistent. Oh, that's is that a thing? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn them on, man. This is, you know, this is. I mean, this is what the HD pack was developed for. I prefer the low definition. Should I screw up? Did it crash? Oh, no, what did you did do? Did it crash? Crap. Oh, there we go. It worked. It worked. There we are. <laughs> yeah. Crap. Slightly less. Consistency. Crap. I hope this doesn't screw up the recording. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I didn't script the stream, just like paused it, so All right. should be fine. Alright, well, I, I don't like the HD pack, so let's turn it back off. <laughs> and of taste. No, it's mean. You gotta play it when you play Blue Shift. It's, it's like a requirement. Because the, the thing is, like, the, the HD if pack was makes me mad. There wouldn't be a low definition uh -huh. Rosenberg. Mostly the because... HD pack makes you mad. It leaves you with... Race. Mostly because of the M4. <laughs> that, that just like yeah, the okay, no, that, that's the crime against humanity. Yeah. 357 looks weird. Most other things in the HD pack I think are fine, but the M4 was like st the stupidest decision they could have made. Unforgivable. Yeah. One yeah. one thing I am fine with the HD pack is seeing like the armorless yeah, Barneys you know as where well as 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 well as the uh, coatless scientists. That's kind of a nice touch. Do they have HD versions of those models? They do. Like, okay. I believe the one who sits by the, the, the tram who tells you it's not going to come around is not supposed to have a lab coat. Right. 
Yeah, well, I think the original, like, low definition model also does it. I could be wrong, it's been a while. Can I jump I down here? They, I, I don't think they made a an, an original version like that. I don't think they did. We'll see. Right. Well, if he looks like HD with the low definition models on, we'll find out. Let's go the fun way. Call you insane. Oh, to show up this morning, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, gosh, what are you doing? Ready for a long shift. Yep, it's gonna be a long shift. Not game of my crap. Where's my crap? Here? I can't access no. my files. I can't answer my mail. Oh, I, I haven't even I been have able to get into in my office. Get into my office. I know, sir. I know. We're doing everything. You know, Walter looks really odd without his glasses. Just like when you look at his eyes. Time? I don't have any more time. Just a bit. Also, also, also they didn't make an HD version of Barney. Problem. Uh, Bar not Barney, but Otis. Yeah, Otis is just Otis. That's just really weird to me. There's a lot of oversights in the Gearbox expansions. Uh, where am I going? Armory. That's the armory, and you gotta go get your locker. Is this a real elevator, or is it a teleporter? Are you planning to play the whole game this stream? Uh, yes. That's the plan, but if, you know, we guys get bored, we can do something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I do plan to finish this because I have been told by someone here that it should be doable. It's not very long. You know, you can use your handgun and just break through those windows. Oh, really? I'll do I'm yeah. definitely doing that. But they don't have less ammo. Uh, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good at this game. How's it going? <laughs> I don't need ammo. I say it, I start it on the best. There you go, Calhoun. I'm hard. I put it on Shoot the Shoot him! You're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. Shoot Can I shoot him? I shoot him? No, you, no, you can shoot him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Improper handling of a firearm. What? If you try and kill Otis, it doesn't work because I believe How's Otis is considered a monster for some reason because Amazing. his normal NPC doesn't there you exist. Go, Calhoun. I think like, the, uh, more days, but if you squeeze like, you can make monsters generic also do that, and it'll die in one shot. Well, no, what I mean is that if you shoot Otis, he'll just, like, he won't, he just, he won't it's react. He doesn't react, yeah. You could also That's use cool. all your ha handgun ammo to break the box and get the chum toad. How's it going? Oh, there's a chum toad in here? No, no, in, in your locker, if you collect oh, all the ammo yeah, yeah. from the, uh, from the shooting range and spin it all in the box, days, but if you want to you'll in be able to break it in the range. Right, let's do that. Do you die? Uh. for <laughs> you. <laughs> it's great. How's it going? For you. Give me my gun. Here you go, Calhoun. Gun. I know you're not on the schedule Wait, for a couple more I days, but if you want to squeeze in, front in of the a desk. few shots That's in the stupid. range, there's plenty of room. You, you stupid. Stupid. Uh, uh, no, wait, wait. Look at the other ones. There's Otis. Is in. Yep, you should have enough to break the box. I want that donut. I'm trying to get his gun. Oh. But he has a donut in that hand. He can't get yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. He's too fat. I don't know. He fails to realize he can just hold the donut with the other hand. But then he'll have to wipe both hands. You're just right. like them. <laughs> Why is my weapon select stuck? That's strange. Always like that. Because you only have one like black to select, I assume. Yeah, Black Mesa is the one that made a timeout, or half a two, rather. Or half a two, okay. Wasn't this supposed to... There we go. Hey. Hey. So we gotta remake that. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure there's a camera in there. Uh, yeah, we're definitely putting a camera in there. Um... <coughs> We definitely should start, um, actually planning that out. How do I get out of this? Oh, I guess I'm not I getting out timed. of this. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, is the overlay just, like, a brush in front of the camera? <laughs> Looks like it might be, yeah. Look, look, look at this on the bottom left. 
it and it's through. it's not fitted yeah. for widescreen. <laughs> yeah, it just clips through the the, the brush. Great. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Where's this? Hey, it's Gordon. Good he finally morning, made it. Gordon. Oh. Wait, doesn't it take a lot longer for for the tram ride to end? In ah, whatever. Time has no meaning in in a, in a gearbox games. I mean, you did shoot five people many times. Yeah, you're fair. that's true. Yeah. I had to reset time like three times. Oh, this is a real elevator. <laughs> of course, Gearbox would do that. <laughs> Didn't Valve, like, say that they regret making the portal elevators real elevators because it made no sense and it Why looked worse? Do yeah. Have to wear these ridiculous <laughs> ties. Anyway, uh, where's my other? Oh, ah, uh, yes, more bathrooms that have no doors. They do have a nice garbage can. Uh, where's my locker? Oh, there's my locker. Why? Why is it just open? Oh. That's a good question. Those are <laughs> annoying brush-based versions. <laughs> I am told that this is important. Why is the game audio so loud? Holy crap. I have it set really t low and it's still loud. I like how it locks back after you release the fire button. Come on. Hey! We did it! Somebody did the math on that. The truth about aliens is that they're living in uh, Barney's locker. Yes, government conspiracies. Hello, friend. Keeps oh, well. the book to me, no one's onto him, huh? Is this an illegal flag? So quick, someone look up the flag code. <laughs> I forget, wait, uh, is it the, the I stars? It has to be on the left, right? Yeah, the stars on the left, yeah, not on the right. Illegal, bad. Randy Pitchford's illegal flags. Yeah. Um. Out of order. Oh, that's funny. At least, at least they have paper towels and uh, towel towels. Will these work? No. Disappoint. That'd be too cool. Tisk tisk. Particle effects weren't invented yet. They made the water fountain work later in the game. Oh, they did. Yeah. This works. Hey. Yeah. Uh oh, now what? Looks like some people are having problems with the main access lift in Sector G. Why don't you go over there and see what you can do? Am I also Gus? Apparently I'm also Gus. Lovely. Uh, wait, where am I going? It was such a weird decision. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just gonna... walk around, I guess. Particle Labs? Do I go to the park labs? Don't you have your own job to be doing? Uh-huh. Oh, I should probably heal up. <laughs> Wait, how did you get hurt? Because I, uh, tossed myself over the edge here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. <laughs> oh, no more. Hold on. I think this one still has... I should probably, like, start writing some script drafts and stuff. Please do that. We're, like, right at the point where we actually started to need those, like, a lot. No, I'm one short! I'm so mad. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, fine. Barney is slightly unhealthy from drinking all that soda. That's fine. Have a good one, it's okay, guys. you can't get diabetes in one day. He'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Actually, I can't remember. Have they... have the scientists ruled that diabetes is, like, entirely genetic? No, it's not entirely genetic. You can not entirely it. genetic, okay. Um, it, it's partially genetic. Like, okay, so, so type it, 2 isn't just, like, you have... Yeah, I mean, there's... You genetic, have to have, like, a predisposition. Yeah, there's predispositions to it, right? You can inherit, like, certain 
genes that makes it more likely, but you can still avoid it if you're careful. Right, okay. Yeah. But if you don't have the gene, you're not going to be at risk? You're at lower risk, but I... Yeah. So here's the thing, like, no one really knows what causes diabetes. It's like one of those things where it's, like, statistical in nature, and, like, you can make correlations, but... How do you see? That doesn't sound right. Let me help you. Okay. I hope you know what you're doing. Nope, of no one course. knows what they're doing. Theoretically. Yeah? <laughs> do you smell something burning? I can't really tell. Right. Let's try this. Ah! No! Whoa. No. <coughs> that is the most explosive keyboard I've ever seen. Well, do you have any idea what to do next? I couldn't even... Yeah, I don't know why, like, every piece of equipment explodes. <laughs> You know, it's just standard circuit boards in Black Mesa, like, are just rigged with C4. So explosive computers and toilets don't work. Yeah. Just a little shaped charge, it's fine. Yeah, it's all good. You, you, you gotta include some, some spice in all of your electronics. Let's go! Oh, wait, I can heal up. If you're waiting for the trend to sector G, then yeah, the diabetes avoided. Let's go. That guy's low definition. Say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Oh, but he's wearing the lab coat. I see. The Mesa Times. Is that like part of the model, or is he like parented to that somehow? It's part of the model. I've played around with uh, files before. Oh, okay, so it's like Kleiner, where like the clipboard is just part of him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sad. So, that was like a special scientist variant just for that scene. Alright, I'm Gus now. Because this is what I do apparently. <laughs> Make yourself useful. High voltage. Hello. Did they do the Hello, thing? Voltage. Did they do the thing where they put the key in front of the door? I thought they fixed the thing where this just kind of gets propelled for no reason if you just um, nudge it like that. Uh, maybe that was... Hmm. Maybe they don't have access to the source code for Blue Shift and Opposing Force. Isn't it the same code? <laughs> nah, no, it's like a branch. Oh, okay. Because that's not like engine level, it's one of the entities. Oh, right, yeah, it's... Okay, alright, yeah, it's just entity physics. Got it. Got it. Wait, hold on. So, since the client DLL is different, right. uh, and I'm pretty sure the server is as well. Yeah. Ooh. Is this just like a completely optional puzzle? Yeah. Alright, well, I don't know why that's a thing, but sure. That's so stupid. They give you a flashlight and then like... The and then they, the yeah. Hi, G-Man. Oh crap, I can't shoot him. Damn it. Because uh, I'm out of ammo. Come on. Open, damn you. This is the most unnecessarily complicated bridge ever. Imagine the budget that they spent installing this thing. Yeah, instead of just like having a catwalk that goes over the rails. Yeah, right. Earlier they had like platforms that pushed out. That sounds <laughs> so much easier. <laughs> Unlimited funding from the US government. Isn't this uh oh no, this is uh wait, is this why does this look familiar? I think they might have reused um <clears throat> some of the geometry for the decay hazard course uh yeah that's like the beginning of um or the the ps2 one violence, rather ah okay well this is sector g apparently i'm in sector g now oh this this uh this well, scene it's about time 
We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Rude. Make this thing work so we can get on with this. In fact, what's about to happen is all entirely keyframed with path corners. Yikes. So it was all Yikes. done in Hammer. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, it's kind of incredible. That's extremely wow. All right. Um... Someone was dedicated. All right. How do we do this? Wasn't there like a thing I have to do first? Make this thing work. Wait, okay, I'll press, press the button. button. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, Black Mesa Blue Shift did a better job of selling that. <laughs> So you did actually have to do something to make it work. We don't know what floor we're going to Wait, why am I just like, um, Mandela affecting, like, there being a puzzle here? I, I thought I remember there was a puzzle here. Am I, am I just hallucinating? Yeah. Did you play Black Mesa oh, Blue Shift? I, I did not play Black Mesa Blue Shift. I think it was just the Black Mesa Blue Shift thing. I you must have heard of it. <laughs> you must have I heard don't of the know puzzle. why you're Mandela affecting. That's so weird. I thought you had to, like, go down somewhere and turn on the power or something. Ah, uh, whatever. It would make sense. The remake. Five and eight. I mean, last time I played this game was when I was, like, seven. So, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. I like the god rays. God rays are good. Good rates. Hard. <laughs> Apparently, Barney knows how to restore electrical panels just by staring at them. He has a master's degree in electrical engineering. Alright. Let's do it. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Oh, he's just dead. Okay. Okay. Shoot him. I never really understood this guy. He's a moron. He just stands on the tracks like that. And then he tosses himself out of the way. And then he's just and he's dead? dead. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> just... Benegy tripping on a rug. Did I just teleport into a dark room? I guess I did. Doggy! Let's pet the dog. Roll text. I wake up with gun in hand. I'm very dedicated. And my flashlight has not drained since the last time I turned it on. That means I haven't been out for very long. Oh, right, I can't switch to my gun! Because <laughs> you're out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Poor life choices. It warned you. I, I got some ammo. See the there you go. Alright, time arm to the teeth. I need more ammo. Ammo? Whoa, I didn't know they would do that. Whack. They actually jump back if you whack them. Go away. Alright, this is hard mode. I'm gonna regret my life, aren't I? Where is he? We should make our hound eyes do that. If you whack them with a crowbar, they'll just like jump backwards. I agree, that would be fun. <clears throat> yeah, right now, our Hound AI is actually very unsophisticated. Yeah, I, I'd like to see us upgrade basically all of our AI. Yeah, that's on the to-do list. More ammo. No more ammo? No. Alright. Why did I just do that? Disconnect <laughs> power before attempting maintenance. On what? 
on anything. Where is you don't want to be electrocuted. Inversion of earlier's puzzle. Wait, what? All right, now we're getting to puzzle territory. I'm, I'm immediately confused. What's going on? Wait, okay, so I, I, I blew this thing up, which has an unclear effect aside from turning off the lights. This goes... where? It just kind of goes into a wall. I think it goes to that door. Yeah, but I tried opening that door. Did that not work? Did I maintenance this door? Oh, okay, it's a push your face <laughs> against the wall. Okay, got it. Alright. Half-life 1 was not consistent. Alright, so, Thanks, Gearbox. yeah, Gearbox did the, you should never do this thing with the puzzle in the door, yeah. <laughs> Head crabs! Alright, hard mode, they take three shits. This isn't electrical water, is it? It is. Wait, no, it's no, not. It's not. <laughs> this is... What? It's not electrical, it's just, uh, caustic? Deadly sludge for no reason. Okay. I like how there's just... Oh, now they put in the scene where the headcrab dies to the deadly sludge for no reason. That could that would have been useful to see, like, three seconds ago, maybe? I don't know. Before you touched it. Before I touched it. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Gearbox. You make the right okay. decision way too late. Toxic coolant, Mr. says. In here, in here. Come on. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Ironic, because, like... In Half-Life 2, they decided the opposite would happen. Uh, head crabs survive perfectly fine in toxic environments. Oh yeah, that's right, huh. But they drown. But they drown. <laughs> uh, don't they, like, not oh. drown in Half-Life 1 or something? Yes. Uh, it's, like, completely inverted. <laughs> and did they also do that in Black Mesa, if I remember correctly? I don't remember. I think they just used the same, uh... Half-Life 2? Yeah, the same Half-Life 2 head crabs. so... Let's kill him without expending any bullets. Let's get over here. Was screaming. Damn it! He was smart. <laughs> smart one. Get over here. Over here. So you can't do this in peer review because, uh, multiplayer lag. <laughs> So I'm gonna savor the opportunity to do this. Yeah. You can't really, like, knock him out of the air either because of that. Yeah. <laughs> They'll always get a hit on you, which is... There is literally really nothing annoying. I can do about that. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's so infuriating. I mean, something I can do is I can make them, like, retroactively die, maybe? But, like, you'll still take damage. It's not gonna... You'll still like... take damage. Just, like... Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. That's, that's the more annoying bit. Hi, Which, are unfortunately, you alive? Sure. How did you get through the power lock? Well, it doesn't matter. The only other way out of here is through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell anyone I'm down here. I think they're trying to kill us all. Already? Now get out of here. The canal is where you want to be. How long have I been out? That's a Please good question. Alone. I don't want them to hear us. If you want to escape, go through the canal. Our flashlights are better. <laughs> Thank you. I did my best. They also look cooler because we have like actual projected textures now. <laughs> uh, we need like a, a weapon flashlight or a flashlight entity just for like placing in the world for that purpose. Where am I going? <laughs> uh, you're going to the canals. Wait, how do I do that? I think you shoot the barrels. Oh. Oh. Okay, I see. But you can only do it from that angle even though it's a gate? I don't know, it's... Gearbox is bad. What else is new? Yeah. And God forbid you run out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just soft lock yourself, it's fine. Uh, alright, can I, can I do this? Nope, I still t I took damage. It's fine, whatever. Bad level design choices. What else is new? Oh, don't worry, you haven't seen the worst blue shift in the software. <laughs> you won't for a few hours. Alright. Elevator? It's unfortunate that I know exactly what you're referring to. Oh no. What am I... <laughs> what if you miss? 
Huh? You have to wait like 20 seconds for it to come back? Something like that, yeah. Oh wow, they're weaker than I remembered. Yeah. Do they have a, a head hitbox on their eye or something? Uh, probably. I haven't checked in a while. But I would not be surprised. I think those are weaker than I thought, too. Wait. I am on hard mode, right? That's what you pick. Oh, alright. I mean, the head grabs go down in three shots, so I think I am on hard mode. Well, I did take a lot of damage from that, so yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That tracks. <laughs> oh, I'm so gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> it's gonna be bad. Wait, how are the auto saves in this game? Are there auto saves or no auto saves? Are there? There should be auto saves. I don't remember how frequent. Oh god! All right. I would quick save if I were you. Yeah, let's quick save. Yeah, usually I I don't quick save because wait, is that the quick save button? Hold on. Uh, it should be at five by default. It is. No, they they changed it. Damn it. Oh. Wait, what? Why would they do that? Cause. <laughs> did, did they change the defaults when they did the update? I can't remember. I. Hmm. Oh, no, no, it's always been... The it's default's always been, been F6 for quick save on old source. I never yeah, because F5 that. is a screenshot key. I never understood that. F5... Yeah, because like, every other game uses F5. <laughs> yeah, I mean, F5 is an easier key to press than F6, and you want to quick save more often than you want to take a screenshot, so that's like poor UX. But that's entirely Valve's fault, that's not even Gearbox's fault, so... Yeah, like the way they set it up. I don't know if it was like that in Quake 2, or... I am just sad that modern games generally don't have quick saves. Or just like saves in general, other than auto saves. So yeah. That was weird. What? <laughs> Where is this guy? Hold on. Let's pick on the crates. Where'd he go? There he is. Get over here. You hurt the puppy. I'm petting the puppy remotely. <laughs> remotely. <laughs> With a little bit much force. <laughs> That's it, away. That's it for not being sure. There we go. What happened to this guy? A <laughs> uh, barrel fell on him, I guess. From here? <laughs> Must have. That's an awful way to die, holy crap. Hey, that's armor! Right, I forgot, that's a thing. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Oh, that's pushable. Okay. Oh, is this a crane puzzle? This is a crane puzzle of some sort. Which one does this control? This one. Why is there a zappy thing in the middle of the ladder? Who installed that? That makes me that suspicious. Be a light, and then it broke. Why is there a light there? I don't know. Underneath a ladder? Underneath a ladder that doesn't go all the way to yeah, the floor. Yeah, like, like, where is this ladder supposed to go? Is there's, There isn't even a broken counterpart. Oh, wait, it would have gone down there. But no, you can't even see it down there. Wait, is it? Is this a bottomless pit? Or is it a bottomless yeah. pit? Okay, got it. I see. All right, fine. You win this time, Gearbox. Uh, now what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait. It's fantastic. It's Gearbox puzzle design. Is this what I have to do? Ah, okay, all right. It's not too bad so far. You have to mess with this guy. All right, let's not touch the zappy light thing. All right, as far as, as far as gearbox puzzles go, this isn't the worst one I've seen. Oh no, the worst one is further. You will know it when you find it. Oh god. Drainage canal access entry point B03. <laughs> Why is this... Do you see this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Gearbox didn't just like make their code worse, did they? <laughs> like, what's going on here? I mean, I don't think Blucious has been, has been updated at all since uh, new Half-Life update, right? No, it ha I don't think it has. Only they only have played Half Life. Yeah, like the engine level stuff. Yeah, engine level stuff and Half Life DLL stuff, but nothing else. Where's? Hold on. Oh, whoa! They did the sin, the bad thing where they spawn an enemy behind you. Wow, why are the Vorts so jank? I don't remember being them that being that bad in Half Life One. What? <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Did it just what? <laughs> you just got fucking telefragged. <laughs> All right, let's not do that this time. All right, kill the the guy who spawns behind me. Get over here. All right. All right, let's not get telefragged this time. Why not? <laughs> it's funny because I just implemented telefragging in our own warp, warp balls. <laughs> if remember that one commit I just did. And I, oh, had, a good, yeah, I had a good like, reason for it. Um, yeah, because stuff was breaking otherwise. <laughs> a lot of stuff was breaking if I didn't do that. But, <laughs> um, but at least I made it fancy. Like, um, you do the dissolve effect now. Instead of just like wrecking whatever touches the warp ball. Honestly, I kind of like just getting fucking gibbed myself. I should make a gib option too. All right, I'm gonna head out. Uh, you have fun for the rest of this. Are you recording this? I am recording this. Yes. Perfect. I'm trying, I will... I'm, I'll see how the recording turns out. I don't know if it'll be like yeah usable. I will. I'll catch the rest later then. All right. Have fun. Yep. All right. This smells of gearbox puzzle. What is going on? Yeah, this definitely smells like gearbox puzzle. What did that do? I, I can't unturn it. Okay, well I have, I'll, I will I will never know what that does. Can I just run through this? Yes, I can. Okay. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> oh, right, I can't. <sighs> yeah? Oh. Snipe them with a Glock. Yep, Barney Calhoun, sniper. I mean, that's only like 50 meters. <laughs> Not that far. All right, I'm just gonna keep taking damage from that thing because I. That was, that was only six health. That was that was pretty good. Um, what am I even doing? I'm just gonna fall down here because water. All right. Um, what's what? Now what? <laughs> I'm actually just very yeah. confused right now. Welcome everyone. Um, Yo, you're playing Hevlet Blue Shift. I am playing Blue Shift. I haven't played this since I was like seven, so like I'm, this is as, as close to a fresh playthrough as you'll ever get. Um, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> What's going on? I'm so confused. What what are these valves? What do they do? They just turn off steam. Yeah, but that one didn't turn off anything, as far as I could tell. Oh yeah, I'm armed to the teeth. Four shells. Nice. DK. DKY. What's up? When I play Blue Shift, I like to use the HD pack. Are you trying to make me mad? <laughs> <laughs> no. I said I like to use the HD pack when I play Blue Shift. Are you trying to because make me mad I feel at like you? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just joking. I mean, uh, I mean, Blue Shift is this. Oh, did that one turn off Blue this Chef one? Blue Shift was designed to run Yep. Oh, Gearbox. I don't like Let you. Know. That was not obvious. Let me know. Was it Blue Shift designed? I took like 12 I was points say, of damage for no reason. Was it Blue Shift designed 
It was, yeah. But the thing is, like, I don't. Yeah, the, the reason why I don't like the HD pack is because the M4 makes me mad. Everything else is fine. I just don't like the M4. <laughs> um. What okay. about that shotgun with the uh, kick-ass holding shoulder stock? I'm actually okay with the shotgun. It's it's pretty neat. Um, I don't like the M4 because. It has gameplay problems. Like it feels like it should it behave like a rifle, but it behaves more like a bullet hose for no reason. It's really weird, and it just takes me out of the game. Uh, also, it shares ammo with the Beretta, which makes no sense. Uh, all right, what's going on here? I really, I really do not understand this puzzle. <laughs> what's going? On? All right, I have to get there somehow. Can I just walk out the window? I can. You gotta press the button. I I press the button. Do I, just... I don't know what happened. I would quick save first. Do I just fall out the window? Is that the solution to this puzzle? It literally is! No. Wow! No, okay. Alright, fine. It's funny because, like, I didn't need to do any of that. I could have just, like, done that. Because I went through the steam and I only took, like, six points of damage. Alright, how do I not die? You're gonna die, I think. Alright, maybe don't There's go no there. There's no way you could not die. Alright, I thought I had to go there, but apparently not. Now what? I don't understand this level progression. You know what, now that I'm watching you play this, um, Black Mesa Blue Shift did do a pretty good job of uh, changing it up. I, I don't understand this progression at all. Wait, that was the solution? Wait, hold on. Why couldn't I just do that from the beginning? Am, am I- am I hallucinating? A am I- wait, am I in the right pla- oh, hold on, is this a, just a different place? Yeah, this is different from where you were. Oh, it looks like the same- no, it is the same place. Wait. The path you went down, DKY? I'm so confused. Wait, what was stopping me from just going there? Wait. I guess your brain. I don't understand what's going on. All right, whatever. I I'm gonna have to review the footage because I really don't understand that that level progression. I know what you did wrong, but I'm not gonna say anything. Oh yeah, please don't say anything. Oh, I went back. Okay, got it. All right. <laughs> that was that 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 that's okay. All right, got it. That makes sense. Except it doesn't make sense because I still don't understand the level progression of this area. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Alright. So I went there, I picked up the shotgun. I think this is where I got the shotgun from, right? Yeah, it is. Alright, so I have the shotgun, I come back. Um, I did the thing, I put the elevator down, I turned off the steam. And then, now I'm just... Stuck? <laughs> Question mark? I can't unpress no, that button. Really. Hold on. And I can come out here. If I go there, it just makes takes me back to where I was. I can't come here because this doesn't do anything. Because it's off. Elevator power is off. You gotta turn the elevator yeah, power on. Yeah, I know that. On. That's obvious, but where's that? You know the path you went down with the big pipe? There's a ladder you can climb up. Where? No. I don't know. Not that way. Well, at the entrance, no, towards the entrance where you came out of, you know the you know the area with the two paths, one that sp splits left and right. No, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. This area. Yeah. Well, t on the left path, there's a um, ladder you can climb up. What left path? That one. Oh wow! Okay, I see. I see the problem. Yeah, okay, so... Gearbox is bad at level design. What else is new? Alright, anyway. This is the way you go, by the way. Yeah, I understand that, because... Where else could I go? There's literally nothing else I can do. Okay, I still don't oh. understand this, because, like... What was the point of me doing this? <laughs> yeah. Right. That That's why I said... Uh... Um, Black Mesa Blue Shift actually did a pretty good job of redoing so, this area. Was that entire puzzle just completely not necessary? No, it's necessary. Why? Um, it's necessary. Uh, I'll, I'll elaborate later if you don't figure it out. Alright, fine. 
I wish Black Mesa Blue Ship didn't give me a headache to look at. Yeah. What I f I'm in I'm in the their uh, their Discord server. I found it funny that one of the potential solutions that was floated around for like uh, some of the the combat sequences with the HC was literally give them glow belts. Hey, guess no. what? Give them. That makes me mad. Yeah, I think what they did in, I think what they did instead was just, they just kind of gave them pecs. Uh, ah, okay. Some of the which is a lot better solution. That but, is a much better like, solution. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. still dumb because it's pecs dumb? are. The Peck's sole existence is for, uh, night mission fighting. Still it's makes me mad, though. Yeah. But a little less mad. Think of the Black Mesa Blue Chef. They released some captive focal point screenshots. Oh, I have not been paying attention to Black Mesa Blue Shift at all. Yeah, I got it. I'm not. Yeah, it's just, it's just in the back, get right. I played <laughs> immediately give. Yeah, it's quite long. It's all, it's like, long. There's, there's definitely good stuff in there, but like, there's also some, some kind of like weird uh, stuff as well. Um, I found it funny because they did what a uh, crowbar collector did with a uh, Zen, and they, they showed like a overview and hammer. And then I'm like, what, what the fuck does this mean? This doesn't mean anything. But then again, I'm also kind of spoiled to how big our maps are, so scale doesn't right. mean anything to me anymore. That was yeah, the stupidest just, way to die. <laughs> thrown over the ledge in Tug of War. That's how I'd want to go. He didn't even get thrown <laughs> over the ledge. He, he got released and then he just like toppled over. <laughs> I've noticed enough. I know it's a Black Mesa Blue Shift instead of. In Black Mesa Blue Shift instead of. Instead of two zombies, the, the security guard gets blown over the edge by a fan. Well, that's even stupider. It's, it actually kind of works. Does it? Um, okay. Yeah, well, so it, it's also a, a puzzle sequence, or not, I guess, platforming sequence too. Because then the player can, like, potentially uh, fall off. Okay. Um, it was, it was, ex it was uh, executed kind of alright, but. It makes me wonder. How did that fan even kick on? Does this mean I have I to know. play Black Mesa Blue Shift? Honestly, it's. It's all. It's, it's very much alright. I think a lot of the. The annoying thing is with like any Half-Life project nowadays is like everyone just everyone is just so desperate for literally anything that they'll just put like five stars without even touching it. Oh, random bull squid. Okay, I see how That's it is. That's definitely the vibe I get. Yeah, like there's um there's nothing like there's stuff like yeah. oh this isn't good. I always okay, say love that so I got black Mesa blue shift. <clears throat> is there a way to make the corpses not fade? Oh no. Um, I don't, I don't know. Cause like, I don't understand what's going on here. I guess the question is... I think it's uh, I think it, it might be a console command if anything, but... Hmm, weird. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I, I don't think Gold Source has the fine call. Apparently I heard somewhere that Apple forgot once forgotten the expansion back, Decay might get put on Steam one day, yeah. That'll be cool. Oh my god. You know, so that way it'll no longer be a PS2 exclusive. Oh, that was a I mean, it's... The, the nice thing with the, the new update is it's now possible to do, like, peer-to-peer -peer, um, decay. That is that is a cool thing. Where did the bullshit yeah. go? Oh, there he is. Um, one thing that annoys me about the shotgun reload is the fact that the player just grabs the shells and then heat shield. I hear. I mean, the shock that we load. See how he clams him in the heat shield? Uh, no, that's where the. That's where the. No, that's yeah. Yeah, he clams him in the heat it shield. Might be a little, how small it is. It might be a little f to the front. It looks uh, fine, but yeah. But to me, it looks yeah, like that's... he's just cramming it to the heat shield. Every Gordon Freeman does that in half life too as well. Where the no, that's where the magazine tube is. The, well, the magazine the tube actual, is right under the heat shield. Where's the... oh. Okay. The actual... The yeah, actual I, think, I think maybe, if anything, you could say it's... He's putting it a little, like, far forward, but that's... Like, I can hardly tell. No, that, that's yeah. where the magazine is. Yeah. That's where it is. I've also not handled this past 12, so I can't, I can't you know, say exactly Actually, the, um, where it is. the correct place to load the um, SPAS-12 is 
was in the uh, latch thing, just in front of the trigger. That isn't in front of the trigger. That is in front of the trigger. So the where that. So there's the you know, stock, and then there's the rectangular bit where the the sight is on, and then that's where the uh, loading gate is, and then in forward of that is where the magazine tube is. But for some reason, it's depicted as the double barrel shotgun. Yeah, which is dumb. That's <laughs> it's hilarious, but you know, um, not realistic. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, um, I, I, I'm okay with it just because it does make the game a slightly more interesting than if it didn't I mean, have it, but it's still it's yeah. still nonsense, <laughs> for sure. Okay, this area is actually pretty neat, like, combat-wise. I do like these this pillar motif going on with the combat. Mm. Like, it's interesting. Like, oh. it makes you weave in and out and, like, try to plot around where they're going. It's oh. actually, like, a really clever blend of, like, a wide-open space, but also having that claustrophobic. Right, yeah, it's... it's you don't yeah. see that very oh. often. Like, I, it causes, like, a bunch of cat and mouse interactions with, like, the vorts and the, the bull squid, and I was like, where'd the bull squid go, you know? Like, I thought, oh, you know, this is, this is pretty neat. Um, you know, four out of five stars for this area. Right, let's do. I, I will give them that. What did this do? This did something. Okay, turn on power, right, there we go. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, now you have power. With no feedback on that, you have power now. I hate to say this, but if you play Black Mesa Blue Shelf, you'll find that common area a lot harder. Because it's there's just that. multiple Vortigons. Alright, so let me guess, I have to backtrack and go back to that air elevator that I couldn't... Uh, yep. Oh, I don't really have to backtrack because it just comes here. Oh, there's that explosive crate you need. It's on the left. Oh, lovely. Hold on. Do I need this? What do I yes, need this for? you destroying the grinder. Wow, way to spoil the puzzle. Sorry. Just letting you know. That's all I did, which is letting you know. Which is spoiling the puzzle. <laughs> Sorry. Boom! Oh, yeah, yes. it's easy this to forget that this is, this is new to you. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Relatively Crap. new. Yeah. Crap! I yeah, can't hear them! Sorry? Oh, I heard that. Hey, Otis! <laughs> they're, dumping them, they're dumping them in the water. Otis cameos. So how long yeah, was I out? Because this- is this- Okay, I guess this is like approximately after unforeseen consequences, so like, I probably wasn't out for that long? I mean, I don't know. The timeline here is weird. I think uh, my my estimation put it around, like, uh, noon. Or actually, a little after noon. It's probably, like, closer to, to 1 or 2. Yeah, this is after Shepard got shot down, supposedly. Let me pull up uh, Nikki's timeline. Yeah, that that would be helpful because something about the the the, 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 the timeline doesn't really make sense here. I have my own timeline too. I'll, I'll pull that one up. Yeah. My notes. All right. So do I start shooting uh, some some U.S. militaries? I hear gunshots. Thank you. Places you right now at about the end of office complex. That's a little early for the military to show up, isn't it? Well, they're already talking about the military and office complex. Yeah, like, they showing said up. they were. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they they did say soldiers yeah. have arrived. Past soldiers course. have arrived. Okay, they're yeah. coming to rescue us. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay, you're right. Um, okay, I put I put this at a uh, at about fifteen hundred. Okay. Uh, captive freight start. Oh crap. Practice. What was that? Yeah, what? All right. Well, I guess I'm going here. I actually wonder how Rudy even uses keypads. Does he just type on them with his fingers? Hey, Magnum. How do you type on them? Oh, this Magnum doesn't doesn't zoom. Can I get this shotgun? Uh, I think you have... Blue ship has e. no multiplayer. Can I press E? Oh, there we go. Okay. 
I didn't need that, so I will take it gladly. What happened here? I think they crashed. It doesn't look like they crashed. Looks like okay, so someone shot this guy and blood splattered sideways somehow. And then this guy just fell out and died. I don't know. <laughs> Environmental storytelling is hard. I love gold source. No, oh, he's gonna miss it. Alright, let's what's over here? Whoa! Damn it. He is really bad with that. With the grenade launcher. Alright, is it possible for me to just like go back and cheese this? Yo! Looks like the answer is yes. Kind of. I would consider that cheesing if you're just, you know, running past them. Was there any point for me doing this? Um, getting hurt. And wasting ammo. One thing I hate about the shotgun in Half-Life 2 is the fact that Valve nerfed it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Valve nerfed it, um, but they had some pretty good reasons for nerfing it to be in, in retrospect. That annoyed me too. I didn't like that, but then... But then I started making peer review, and now I understand what Valve was trying to do with it. <laughs> it's actually a really hard balancing problem. Because uh, if you have... So originally in peer review, we had the shotgun more or less work the same way as in Half-Life 1. It proved to be way too good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And even now, I think the shotgun is still way too good. I'm gonna have to adjust the balance on that thing a little bit more. Living Glock 17? A weird magazine for the Glock, but you know. It's stylish, I like it. Hey, it's. it's oh, of course it's it. Technically, the future we're talking. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. It is like early 2000s. I don't know what I'm saying. Right? Yeah, like early 2000s. That's like kind of futuristic to have like a. A hollow magazine, I guess. Was it? Oh. Not, I don't know how. I don't know if that's very weird, but like. Speaking of which, Half Life Blue Shift was originally made for a console called the Dreamcast. You know, I appreciate the fact that these pipes hurt you. Is that music? Is that weird? Yeah. yeah there should be music. Oh, I just had it way too low. That's Chris Jensen's music. All right. Um, I'm not sure it was appropriate for this area, but I appreciate the fact that there's music. <laughs> I mean, it's, um, it's using the same tracks from, uh, Op 4, so... Oh. Originally, it was using the same tracks from Half-Life when it was made for Dreamcast. A console that never made it to this day. Uh, cockroaches, 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 cockroaches. Hey! Can you guess what, can you guess what track originally played in this section? I swear to God if you know. Um, Sirens that's, that's in the like... Distance. Sirens in the Distance by Kelly Bailey. Yeah, so hot take, I actually don't really pay attention too much to Half-Life music. <laughs> yeah. Is it weird that Blue Shift better in Half-Life 2. Yeah. It... Like, in this, it's kind of like flavory, but uh, it doesn't, it's not. Is that yeah, weird that... a standout track or two. Yeah. Yeah, Half-Life half music, or Half-Life 1 music doesn't really sync up that well it really to, uh, doesn't yeah, yeah they don't really it's kind of an opt it feels like an afterthought for the most part yeah kind of i mean i wouldn't say it's an afterthought <laughs> but like uh, i don't know like there, there's definitely like you know cues and it's very environmental but it doesn't really sync up to, to action which i don't think ow 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 yeah is that weird that blue ship is made for dreamcast no, because Decay was made for the PC, or PS2. Oh, yeah, PS2, yeah. Well, because it was made for Dreamcast, it was reused in Kelly Bailey's Half-Life 1 soundtrack. What's going on here? Well, I mean, there's there's more... Actually, no. Decay never had any music, didn't it? Nope. No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> apart from the, uh... 
apart from the uh, May Mania track composed yeah. by Ben Hausch. But that that's like, pretty much it. That was like the best part of DK, and then they just didn't add any more tracks. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, I don't blame them, because like, they're, it, the system would probably use the same uh, as Half-Life, mm. uh, which, as we've been talking about earlier, has some uh, an issue or two. Some fancy and with two going on here. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Look at that. Survive that. That's impressive. Um, Impress that survive question. compile. Question. I know, right? <laughs> Can you, imagine if, can you imagine if I was born in Calhoun? Dang. What would your first reaction be if I was born in Calhoun? Okay. Uh, to this, the the brushwork <laughs> is because born in Calhoun. <laughs> if I was born in Calhoun, I would probably fix the second G-Man access lift as well. This is some really impressive geometry work. Holy crap. Look at that. I mean, wait, wait, what? Blue Shift this was made in. There. Fuck. Fuck. When was Blue Shift made? 2001, 2? Uh, 2000, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 2001, wow. 2 yeah, to 2001. This is so unnecessary, but. That's impressive. Well, okay. I, mean, I mean, how else are you going to do, like, flowing water in, uh, in Gold Source? I mean, well, that's like. The thing they, is, like, they shouldn't have, but they wow. They didn't need to do yeah. this, but they did it anyway. <laughs> Oh no, that's electrical. They could even like just made it like a, a stream pouring it stream. It would have worked. Look at all of this. How do those wires break? Uh, wait, why? Probably how? What am I doing? Um. Flashlight. Yeah, I'm flashlighting right now. Love that you saw sparks arcing into water and just dove in without knowing what you're trying to accomplish. Well, the thing is, I figured I was already in the water, so according to the rules of electricity, I would have already been dead if this wasn't... <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah. Um, Didn't realize there wasn't, like, a ledge. That's yeah. not really how electricity works, but, you know, just just, just roll with it. That's how game electricity works. What am I doing? I also like, I also like how those sparks are, like, literally centimeters from uh, touching the water. Right, yeah. There's, there's no time pressure for the, the player to oh. um, do this fast to get out of said water. Alright. That was entirely my fault. I did not see that. Um, yeah. Partially Gearbox was fault because it's so dark in there, but you know, I'll, I'll give them slightly more credit for this one. Get over here. The bull squid. I love that noise when they're like, just like whining. Sorry. Yeah, it's very iconic. We need to add that. We just need to have like everything have their. NPC voices. Yeah, there's that too, you know, small details. Yeah. <laughs> and by that I mean we're gonna have to get Sunglay to actually do stuff. Uh, I feel bad for him. I got a, I got a new computer. Cause like, yeah. Sunglay is just, he, he, he went through hell on Modern Warfare 3. And like, yeah. we're gonna have to ask him to do real stuff again. <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, honestly, really, we really we just need to start just thinking of something that's worth doing and just ask him to do it. Yeah. I mean, not, not... we're at that stage where we're going to have to start actually asking him to do stuff. Yeah. To his credit, though, he always asks, like, is there anything for me to do? But we never yeah. have anything for him to do. So. I don't know what that just did. What did that do? Blew up the feds. Whoa. No. That's cool. That's really cool. Look at these gearbox artists just like showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Completely not needed, and they did it anyway. Imagine if a bolt would just teleport it right there, and then just ah, you can't kill it now. You already blew up the crates or the the barrels. I'm surprised this is the same map. This is a lot of geometry. For yeah, right? How do they not, like, immediately run into the, the brush limit? Or the faces limit, or whatever the hell it's called. Wait. Oh, no, that's just a square. Okay. I thought they, like, bottled the, the, the beams in camera or something stupid like that. <laughs> I was like, no. no. It's just a rectangle. Squish. There we go. <laughs> Squish across level. There's the loading. 
<laughs> There's the loading screen. Oh, come on! I feel cheated. Are you playing on hard difficulty? I'm playing on hard, yeah. I don't know why I'm playing on hard. I'm not even, like... I don't even like hard. Wow, that was stupid. I'm too right. much of a word to play on hard. Yeah, I don't. I, I always play Half-Life games on hard for some reason. I don't know why. Um, the last time I did uh, uh, a, a playthrough was uh, what's it called? I was about to say Gear Shift, but that's not a game. <laughs> <laughs> I can force. think of that's the game. <laughs> Gear shift. Gear shift. <laughs> half life gear shift. That sounds like it should be a half life game. It's it's like a... Did you play opposing force on hard, I guess? I did play it on hard and I got completely wrecked. It was like... impossible? It wasn't impossible, was I got like... through it eventually, but like there were like three or four spots where I just kept reloading because I kept dying. Um, yeah. In particular, like when the helicopter shows up, um, it's really hard to not die on hard mode in that area. I like to play on easy just for the sake of it. Yeah. I cannot wait for peer review. Yeah, so we haven't. Oh, I, oh I'm out of ammo. Um, I haven't figured out the exact balance changes for hard mode and peer review yet. Right now we're calibrating it for normal mode. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, we don't really even have a, an actual options yet for... Uh, no, there's, there's no options for it, but you can set it through the console, theoretically. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, the theoretically. Theoretically. I haven't actually tested it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do it. Uh. Oh, I got a new PC so I can handle peer review square effects. Yep. That's a good thing, because we definitely upgraded the graphics a little bit, not that much, but we upgraded a little bit. We, we don't have, like, um, PBR or anything like that, but we do have uh, upgraded projected textures, the lighting's a little better, and Custom we just... Custom skyboxes? Um, what about the skyboxes? Yeah. Custom ones, I guess? I think we do, right? But some, but some yeah. of them are just straight up half up too. We ha we have our own sky. I th I thought we were reusing our own our Half Life Two sky boxes, but I don't remember if someone like. I think Code Green's that. a custom one, actually. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought that was a Half Life Two. Yeah, that that surprised me too when I when I saw that because I was, I was looking through all the, the game files recently. Cause... Domestic Violence is also a um, custom one. Do we have a custom one for that? Yeah. Oh, which one? Domestic, domestic violence. violence. Do we have a custom sky box for that? Um. Do you see the sky, like, just the top? Yeah, but, but... it's, like, way bluer than anything in Half-Life 2, so I think it's custom, right? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at this now. Go look at it, yeah, go look at it, because I actually don't know. I think it's custom, because I can't remember any Half-Life 2 skybox being that blue. I'm gonna look it up. Uh, that might have been one that I threw together really quickly for the, uh, PLC. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. yep, so we have, we have Surface Call, um... um that's... wait, what? Okay. I'm very confused. What just happened? I just went uh, here. It's a dead end. Uh... Uh... Okay, and then I come here, which is not a dead end, but there's an electrical thing. Huh, now I'm confused, because I just see surface call. I don't see code green. But, yeah, this... yeah, it's definitely a... Surface call. Surface call? Okay, yeah. I mean, that uh, kind of makes sense. The time of day doesn't really change until a bit later. Yeah, yeah. The red thing violence. Is there a switch or something? Okay. Um, code green. Code green is a placeholder oh. uh, in the file. Yeah. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we need a, a proper code green skybox because it's like I th I forget what complaint I had about it. I don't. Um, I think it might have been like the position of the sun or something. Mm. Do we just run through this? Hold yes, on. just run through it. That's the worst I could have. That's... <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I was expecting a puzzle. I mean, I guess technically it's a puzzle of timing. 
Yeah. Wow, they put it. They put an enemy encounter right next to a loading screen. <laughs> really? Come on. Come on. I know for um for the grunts, if you go b go back and forth and in, in between the loading screens, you can just get infinite ammo. Really? Wait, yeah, but if you ki if you kill them, like. And then go through the loading screen and then go back and forth through it, like they'll keep dropping ammo. Oh, that's hilarious. Jesus. I love that. Alright. Yeah, the, the only time it's happened to me, though, was uh, at the end of Week about Hostiles. Because one, one dude managed to it. follow me into the vents somehow. Well, oh, wait, how? How does that happen? I don't know. Well, I mean, he I like said, he repels down and he's like, I think there's a I ledge said, and they I follow me. picture and... of um, domestic violence. What the hell is going in, on here? In the, in the voice channel. Wow, that is very small. Sorry, I can't help that. Yeah, we have yeah, you probably, you probably just got the picture thumbnail. of it that small. Yeah. <laughs> that small is the thumbnail. Know. What? <laughs> I, I don't know why the image is that small. But if I look at it closely, there's a custom skybox right here through the opening. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a custom skybox. I think yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's that's surface call one. It All looks right. just like our sky. You know? I'm very confused. You know, it looks just like our sky. Alright. So, that's a thing that I can't seem to go through, but then there's nothing on the other side either. Um, these aren't- this is pushable. Okay, got it. That did not look pushable. It doesn't use the pushable skin, so... I was I very confused. Is I'm trying to remember, is there a dedicated pushable? There is! So there's like a couple yeah. of box textures that are always used for pushable boxes. And it's not this one. It's so the, like, grady yeah. one. Yeah. So Gearbox you know, committed there... us in here. Yeah, because I remember, um... Black Mesa had like the... Like the... The plastic crate. I remember that right. as like a... Dedicated yeah. pushable. I don't remember... So th that's a that's a reimagining of the blue Half Life crate pushable skin with like the the plastic edges and whatnot. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's yeah, the yeah. same thing. Yeah, it's a, it's meant cool. to be of a HD version of that. Um, and in Half Life Ease, that skin is always pushable. So yep. Gearbox never got the memo on visual vocabulary, apparently. Uh, question: Have you seen Jolly White Cores video on um, Half Life Blue Shift? Sorry, what? A Jolly Wayne core. He's an Australian you he's oh. a Australian YouTuber. Uh never heard of him. What am I doing? He's an Australian YouTuber who does a lot of Half Life content. I really hate the Half Life One flashlight. Oh my god. Yeah. It's so bad. Look at this. Christ. Speaking of which, Black Mesa flash flashlight is better. It actually is, by like a lot. Because <laughs> it's infinite. That too, but like also the fact that like it's like illuminates a tiny spot. That's not how flashlights work, by the way. That like. No way. That is not how flashlights work. It's also uh, really annoying that it's uh, dependent on me? the texture scale too. Oh, is it? It was. Yeah. Is it like based on luxal density or something? Yeah. Oh, that's dumb. Huh. I mean, I guess it makes sense because that's how light dynamic lights work in Gold Source. Right. But yeah. If you ever like play like a mod that uses like high resolution stuff, like, flashlight is like, just like, tiny. It sucks. Does like Half Life One just not use um, non light max spell sixteen or something? Uh, it just, is it always the same so no matter what? Yeah, so it's relative to the texture scale. Oh, you can't even adjust it independently. Yeah, no, you can manually. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, is, does the flashlight just turn the, that little section just full bright? No, it doesn't. It actually does multiply, which nah. is fine, I guess, but I'm still not a fan. Oh, let's not upset those guys. Oh, I have to go upset those guys, I guess. Alright, fine. This I, was is a reference. I was about to pick them up like this was Source. <laughs> That's a reference. Uh, uh, Gearbox. Gearbox reference. 
All right, how much shotgun do I? I can't see the shotgun ammo because it's being covered by the recording icon. <laughs> so, um, you got five rounds. I can't. I can't press R. It's not doing it. So I just have five rounds. Okay. How, all right, I don't know how much 357 I have, but uh, let's hope it's enough. Wow, he just tanked the headshot. Look at that guy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, SMG. Alright. Now I got some ammo. Alright. Um, What the hell was he shooting at? Uh, uh, this, this is... Were they no. morons? I think they were just being morons. Shooting at the glass. Hi. Well, they couldn't just open the door? But I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. What voice is that? If we're trying to reach the freight yards in hope of escaping, then just forget about He's it. He's dying. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me. If you uh. still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <laughs> if you can get past the soldiers... Find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place. Who's the voice actor for this guy? Oh, no. It's, it's Rosenberg's voice actor, isn't it? Oh, is it? He's got the same, like, uh, 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 Yeah, it's yeah. definitely not Kleiner. <laughs> which is very jarring because of his model. But yeah. oh, I don't know, because he's dead. Well, yeah, he's dead. It's fine. Are you kidding me? You were interrupting. Wait, hold on. No, stand there, damn you! What was that? I'm so confused what he was trying to do. He's, he's laying down a grenade. Yep, he was. He just blew himself up. What the fuck? <laughs> and he, th th he ran right through it, too. Do that again. Do that again. There you go. And then stay there. Maybe no. there's no, like, nodes in there. He's very confused. Hold on. I just realized that the reload animation doesn't make any sounds, and that that annoys me. Oh boy. Get back here. What's with these guys taking headshots? Oh, oh, I'm out no, of you, know what, you know what I hate the most about this revolver? About the original revolver? revolver? The player doesn't use the extractor when injecting the casings. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not necessary on some models. I thought he does. Am I just hallucinating? No, he actually doesn't. Hmm. He just shakes the casings out. Oh, that was... Okay, I see, I see, I see. This but is, I'm... like, way more detail than necessary for a Gold Source game. Damn. But, well, well, to be Too honest, bad. the... I mean, it is, what, like, the last Gold Source game before Source? Air. This is very impressive. I like it a lot. A plus to the artist honest, at Gearbox. Well, to be, to be honest, the um, extractor on the uh, revolvers is usually guaranteed to work. Not for that one, apparently. Guaranteed, yeah. It depends on your uh, what rounds you buy. Sometimes the casing is like a little thicker or thinner, and it'll just it'll slide out. So oh, uh, as they say, flicking the cylinder shot isn't recommended as it could damage the crane, which Gordon doesn't have of two for some reason. It's like why? It's like why does he flick, why does he flick the cylinder shot? Because he's cool uh. and has not shot a revolver before. I mean, if he shot a before, oh, he's a shotgunner. Nope, nope, stay away, stay away. Do not, do not come here. Alright, thank you. I need that ammo anyway. Right that, was, away. that was an interesting death animation. Well, I mean, I, that, I think that's a headshot from behind or something. Is that how that works? Okay. Yeah. Watch it. Uh, did the did try to take the Marines' backpacks?
That was not obvious, but okay. Did you imagine trying to take the Marines backpack while they're dead? It sounds like so much effort. Yeah. Honestly, I would take one of their backpacks to look for ammo and supplies to help you survive. To help you survive. Rocket pallet packs, you can't get those quickly. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're they're wearing I think they're wearing deuce gear. I just just take their take their freaking deuce gear and then you're good to go. I have one of this. I have yeah, several of this. I have surprisingly little of this. Oof. Okay. Well. Oh, I have grenades. I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Yeah. Grenades and gold source are jank. I think they changed the. Did he grenades. tried to blow me up. He tried to blow me yeah. up. Ah! Ah! Oh, straight to the face. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did it save while I was about to chuck a grenade? <laughs> I think it's, I think it saved when you went through the door. Oh, okay. When you went through that fatal funnel. Oh okay. uh, yes. Yeah. HEDP is uh, stopped by um, security guard Kevlar. Yeah, okay, so uh, this is a problem that Gearbox often has, which is they suffer from a very severe case of the door problem, and it completely undermines most of their combat encounters, and this is a great example of that. Yeah, see. I think probably the biggest thing is just that you don't know that, that they're throwing a grenade or shooting a grenade until you see it fly in your face. That too. Mm. Um, that annoyed the hell out of me when Black Mesa added the, that to the the commanders. Because the, the, fir the first time that I saw that in action, like, I'm hiding behind cover, and then I just hear frag out, I'm like, okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, so I somehow survived that. Yeah, that was uh, that was not a good fight. This is not yeah. a good fight. I don't like it. Two out yeah, of ten. One of those AI rules, right? Is where you want the uh, you want the AI to kind of announce or somehow acknowledge what they're doing to yeah. give you the sense that they're you know. Yeah. The nice the nice thing about um military too is that in general they'll be talking to them themselves anyway, so it, it's it's very uh convenient. Yeah. I mean, to be fair though, it's n so for regular frags at least in Half-Life One, it's not as bad as it could be because they make a very distinctive clunk noise when they land, oh, and yeah. they have a pretty generous mm -hmm. timer on them. So in Half-Life One, for the frags, it's generally okay. For the contact grenades, it is generally not okay though because that's um, that usually comes out of nowhere and then you get wrecked. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, no. So um, like the first time I. I experienced it in Black Mesa, I just hear it frag out, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick up a grenade and throw it in his face. And then it, and then I just see the, the 40 mic might just stre streak by, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, <that laughs> and then I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, because they, they, I think they introduced that in, uh, I think, 1.0, and they didn't add any new lines mm. um, for oh, that. So that was... so they just used the frag line? Yeah, so they used the, the, you know, the... What the hell? The, the regular ones. 1.0 was just like a bunch of ball dropping happening, huh? Yeah, yeah. 1.0 was kind of not good. I but it, it did blow me away with the... Uh, it did blow me away with uh, the new uh, surface tension, though. That is a weird place to put a track. Yeah. I think that is just supposed to keep moving, but... Wow, that's loud. Okay, hold on. <laughs> that's soothing antagonist. God damn, you know like every track, don't you? Yep, research basically. Yeah, um, I think of all gaming soundtracks, I'm least familiar with Half Life's series because I don't know, there's just something about it that is not as memorable to me compared to other soundtracks for some reason. Op four, no. Op four especially because it's the I, I don't know I don't know music um very well, but okay. it's like the same, huh? Have you ever played what's called Command and Conquer? Uh, I am very familiar with the Command and Conquer soundtracks. Yeah, Frank Lepaki's a freaking legend, but um. But um, but but when the but when the later games were designed, were handed over to 
but but the later Commander Conquer games like Generals were handed over oh, to Gen Generals. Like 20... Isn't Generals like stock music though? Wow. Um, no, like they, they, they literally they use had, stock music, if I remember correctly. They, well, they they had different composers because Hell? because instead of because instead of Westwood <laughs> Studios, it was handed off to Electronic Arts, aka Microtransaction Studios. They didn't do that back then, though, because Generals uh, was one of the last microtransaction-free games by EA. Um, oh yeah, was there a? Shoot, I think this map has a, a water fountain somewhere. I think it's on this floor. Did they just like mess yeah. up the size of the brush or something? What's going on here? I, guess. I mean, it's prob the, probably the the yeah the, the physics is uh, too small. Um, Yard manager. Unfortunately, after Westwood Studio was made, Commander Conquer Renegade, they went defunct yeah, in 2003. It's really sad what happened to Westwood. Um, to be fair, EA Los Angeles did okay with Command and Conquer 3 and Red Alert 3. Those were okay games. I actually pretty liked. I liked those games a lot. Um, not as much as Red Alert 2, but you know, it, it, it was okay. Um, but we could all forget about the fourth one. We do not talk about, about. We do not talk about CNC4. That game is not real. <laughs> yeah. It's not a real but game. We'll, it doesn't exist. Yeah, I will explain why everyone hates it. Because they ditched the build base building thing. It's not a command and conquer game. That's that's the problem. It's just not a CNC game. So Yeah, basically instead of building instead of building bases, you have to capture nodes to progress further. And then also like so there's the two main problems with it are it's not a command and conquer game in either um gameplay or story. Like the story is just very not command and conquer. What's what happened to this guy? So the one, there's one, the one thing about CNC4 that was actually good was the the soundtrack. The soundtrack is actually fantastic, um, but that's the only redeeming quality of that game. Everything else was actually garbage. And I'm really sad though, because like I was part of the beta program for that game, and I was really excited to play it. And you know, uh, apparently, at some point, it got removed off the of Steam. What is this? M more door problems. Wow. Well, it's up, almost like, the, it's almost like the fatal funnel is a real issue that real infantry have to figure out how to solve. Did Let alone, you know, game game designers that know nothing about like anything. Did he blow himself up? Related to infantry. He blew yeah. himself up. Yeah, he actually blew himself designer. up. <laughs> you can, you can control <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, this is like, this is. This is pretty 101. Yeah, this is this. like this is actually textbook theory. In, in game design. Oh, he, he, he literally weakened himself because he just kept blowing himself up. What is with the AI in this game? I'm about to die. How did he not die from that? Come on. Wow. Alright. Yeah. Roger, because he was thing. What is going on? <laughs> this game, I swear. Alright. Alright, but yeah, that that was bad. Okay, so I have ammo for this thing, this thing. Oh, I should reload this thing. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so, door problem. So, the way you solve the door problem is not like this. Holy crap. Solution is one more doors, or what, two? What the hell? That was really strange. I don't understand what happened there. <laughs> yeah? I think... I think one t one time I just kind of forced the issue by blocking the door, um, so the player so the player couldn't uh, retreat back. That's one way to do it. It's not a great way to do it, but it works. <laughs> no, so I, I, just, I just I literally just put a box, um, like you can jump over and get through the door normally, like pretty easy. Oh, but you actually have to me. think about it. <laughs> he followed me, but yeah. the grenade didn't follow him. Yeah. So I'm you see so you mad. see that. Oh, he dropped you see that? Yeah, he, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he too. No, no, yeah so... Let's cancel it right now. Fucking cancel it, you coward. I'm just kidding. What's up? Yeah, so people are actually watching this, so we can't cancel it anymore. I'm sorry. That's the rule. Fuck! <laughs> 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 uh, I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, crap. I did what I could. Oh, this is not good. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, so um, this is how you do not design a, a gameplay encounter, a, a combat encounter, by the way. Um, this is uh, what we know, what is known in, in level design as the, uh, the door problem, which is if you have a door opening up into a large arena, and there's like, and there's no incentive for the com the player to come out. Then generally, the safest place to be is at the door, which means your entire arena is not in play. Oh my god, I hate this bug. All right, I actually don't understand that bug at all. But yeah, the, the door problem is very common. It's it's really a it's um it's a problem with like game theory and like game psychology. Um, it, which is why you'll notice in a lot of games, like, if you have a door, they will often put ammo, goodies, or just cover in front of the door to encourage you to get out and leave the door. Because, um, there's a, there's a concept called Refuge, and, um, there's an accompanying concept called Prospect, both of which kind of encourage the player to move around in a manner other than sticking in a door. Because right now, like, the safest place to be is the door. Damn, Which, blowing up his buddy like that. Yeah, he, he is not smart. He did it twice! <laughs> I think those are two separate ones. Oh, really? Oh, he's doing it again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so something I found. Um, apparently, PS2 grunts can kick back grenades. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. no, no! Wow. <laughs> it's always the shotgunners. No, why is this bug even a thing? I saved, like, twice. <laughs> Hey, now, now you can actually go out in front because um, you scared them. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, hold on. Come on. Um, but yeah, the way I would fix this is I would put some cover like right there. I would also put like alternate routes to encourage like different ways of leaving that cover area and moving to a place where you could theoretically have more um, vantage point across the, the area. Because right now, there is nothing that encourages me to leave this room. My immediate thought is just to have them not notice you as, as soon. That's another way you um, can solve that problem. So you, yeah, so you, sure. you can um, adva you advance you. more before they do. Uh, exactly, unless, yeah. I mean, unless the player chooses to engage at such far ranges. Yeah. Also, I would make the door uh, on the other side. That's another thing that you could... Yeah, there's a lot of things you could do to change this to make it a little less really stupid. Yeah. I think oh my god, I hate the this. The door... <laughs> across the way there. I think I'd put it in line with this one and have that lead into another room. Yeah, so having um, alternate so obvious routes... Path. Yeah, does this door open? Hold on. Yeah. It does, yeah. So it's not obvious that I can go there, right? So let me try this, actually. Yeah, it wasn't... What the hell happened here? Okay, so there's no... Okay, so here's another problem. There is no <laughs> advantage for me to come here. There's... There was no reason for me to do this, aside from just trapping myself in a corner in another... Pro... A second door problem, effectively, right? He's gonna... Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay, I'm good. I mean, there, I guess there's like health kits and stuff, but like, I'm not gonna scavenge for health kits if they're actively trying to kill me like this, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I don't I don't think this room was intended to be um explored right now. Yeah. So yeah, so if I were to improve this, I would maybe make this door like, uh, like a jar to encourage people to come here, and then I would add a secondary exit over here somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, yeah. So it gives me a reason to come here, and it solves the door problem because it encourages me to leave the door. Mm -hmm. Um, I would also I probably yeah put some windows on the side of that room to have to give me to give the player some options for what they can do. And, and different vantage points they can take to get, uh, you know, to make strategic and tactical, like, maneuverings positions that you can get an advantage over these guys. Because right now, they have a massive advantage over you, mostly because they're, like, freaking tanks. That is just soft like the game. Oh, wow. Amazing. Can you break, oh, wow. can you break the crates? Right. Oh, I can. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That would have been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing um, I will say, um, I've noticed pretty much the entire time of watching, is that a lot of the critiques, they are solved in Black Mesa Blue Shift. Good. Like, these these do not come up. Yeah, I think I'm really glad that they, after like three decades of learning, they solve the problem. Someone let us out <laughs> here. 
Yeah, uh, I'm I mean, not gonna bother really? this guy yet. <laughs> like, bought, is, oh. like, Entropy Zero having like the critical flaws that it does that were solved in like Portal 2. Like, that kind of stuff bothers me. Is this a refrigerated Black car? Black Mesa Blue Can you get inside? Uh, yes, I should be able to if I can figure out how to do that. Help. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Damn you. Shut up. Alright. Why does this guy have the clatter voice? Is, is that a clatter voice? Really? I think so. I hear aliens. I'm very confused. What do I do? Help. Oh, okay. Wait, I could go here, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Hold on. Are there any doors? Another ladder hidden in the dark. Is there another ladder in the dark? <laughs> I'd be very mad if that's the case. <laughs> Alright, I mean, this is theoretically a door. Oh, it is a door. Okay. Not good. Not cool. Not cool gear. Uh, I was, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call them gear shift from now on because it keeps popping in my mind. <laughs> Last thing. Thank God, God you're, you're here. here. No, I'm afraid I'm not, Doctor Rosenberg. So, how did he know that things were safe? Also, I hear aliens. That makes me annoyed. Did that work? No, it didn't. Alright. What happened here? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. <laughs> I do not like this. That was <laughs> I am so That was mad good. That. Holy I'm shit. so mad. Oh my god. Well, I'm about to die, but that's fine. I'll just save here. <laughs> so you can die at the next Fatal Funnel? Exactly, yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I, I will have you know that that does not happen in peer review. <laughs> well, we also... <laughs> uh, technically, that thing is not on the spoiler list, but um, maybe it should be. Oh yeah, we do have, we do have freezers in peer review, so we that is a theoretical yeah. possibility. Um... I'm, if, if anyone does that, I'm, I'm, I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> Yes, distract him! <laughs> ah, I'm so lucky he's ignoring me. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's the what other guy? What was that? Was right. just, I thought it was one. Stay far away from him. Wow, did I miss? Oof. Yeah, you hit the, I, the car. Wow, okay. That's really annoying. <laughs> I somehow survived that. <laughs> uh, and this right. is where dynamic health uh, crates do not come into play, as they don't exist yet. Um, so you're stuck with I'm, 10, 20 yeah, health. Because this is hard mode, so those health kits don't actually give you that much. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. The hard mode was a mistake. Why do I play on hard mode? I don't even like it. <laughs> Oh no! Oh look! No! Oh look! Another fatal funnel! <laughs> no! Actually, at least this one you can explore first. No, I can't. Alright, this <laughs> one's a little better, but I'm still gonna die. At least you're given options. Can anyone like, hear me? Yeah. The yeah. The they don't immediately. Oh my god. They don't like immediately wreck you. Right? Are you like holding down? I'm not. Or... I'm, I'm, I'm no? actually just not. Uh, that's like a really strange bug. Alright, so here, at least they don't immediately try to attack you, which gives you like maybe three seconds where you're over here before um, before you think, oh my god, I'm unsafe. But by then, if you're over here, you have at least a few more options for cover, which is like behind this car, you know, and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's probably like the better place to go. And I think that's, this is one way you can solve the Fatal, the fatal Funnel door problem. I don't think it's my favorite, but it works. Um, See, like right here, and then here we have we have cover here too. So like it's not like the worst thing in the world. It's still not great though, because I'm about to die. But yeah, and you just allowed yourself to be flanked. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. If I save again, does that solve the problem? All right. Um. So. All right. What's the safest way to do this? Because I'm I'm not healthy right now. Hold on. Is there like more health here? No, there isn't. There's more ammo, though. I guess I'll take that. 
All right. Um. All right. Yeah. So this is not a good situation for me. <laughs> okay, I'm a little better now. Oh, okay. All right. Not quite fifty percent, but I'll take it. Better, better than before. <laughs> All right, I'll have the crowbar out so that I, I don't waste ammo next time I... All right. All right, so... Not a great situation for me. There we go. Now they're taking headshots. Why was the 357 just hugely ineffective before? And now it's like, okay. Weird. I'm so... Wait. Alright, well... Alright, I guess that works. <laughs> um... Hello? I really don't understand this, but... Sure. I need health. <laughs> oh, armor. Hey, there we go. That would have been useful, like, 10 seconds ago. Ah, oh, hard mode. These health kits are useless. Yeah, Half-Life also doesn't take a really good approach to hard mode, in my opinion. Like, all they do is they change the numbers around a little bit. Um, that's probably, like, the laziest way to do hard mode. In... I think there's a few differences with the AI. Are there? Um, but really? there's... Yeah, because I think um, the, the ninjas, the, their cloaking changes or something. Yeah, I, I know the assassins get stealth on hard. Is um, that? I think I think there's there might be like one or two things like tweaked, like timing with the forts as well. Oh really? Uh, yeah, I think they attack faster. But, oh, do like, they? That's, okay. Yeah, I think that's about it. I never noticed that. Yeah. And plus, if you only play one on one difficulty, you're never gonna notice it anyway. That's fair. Yeah. Wow, they're very not generous with health right now. All right, fine. I'll, I'll live. Wait, no. Crowbar. And save. Save with crowbar. All right, is this one of these invisible doors? No. Um... Okay. Now what? <laughs> uh... I'm gonna drop out here. All right, have fun. I'll do my best. Is I know, I, I will have fun, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. Alright. Okay, seriously, what the hell? Oh! Okay, I think I see. Ah! Did that kill you? I think so. <laughs> I gotta try it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, and it looks like you're getting rolled by it too. I oh, am. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Wait, how do they implement that? Is that like a door or something? I don't know, because it, it, ro it rotates. Yeah. And, um, I guess it could just be a track train? I'm thinking it's a track train, but spinning at the same time but then they did they got the math just right to have the spinning aligned with the the box. well you don't need you don't need the spinning the spinning would be like a separate prop or yeah but it has to spin it it would have to spin at the, at the correct speed you'd have to do the math right yeah a little bit of trigonometry involved can you hear me no i'm afraid i'm not dr rosenberg wow You'll you're useless me, won't you no i won't bye yeah i like, I like how barney just completely uh, abandons all of the scientists yeah <laughs> So credit where credit's due, like Gearbox like has some impressive like technical stuff going on here. Their 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 game design is not very good though. Um, and also this was way before when they started to make Borderlands, but the fact that they can't write good dialogue. <laughs> There's that too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there there are, there's some serious dialogue issues in in opposing Force, Blue Shift and Decay, believe it or not. I think Decay is probably the worst of the bunch. Um for various reasons, but... Is it because, oh, no. you know, the Barney's just endlessly flirting with fucking the two scientists? Oh, that, that's one of the problems, for sure. It's not the worst one. Is that really a problem? I don't know if it's really uh, just, a problem, I mean, just flirting, it's just, flirting in general? Or... I don't think it's necessarily a problem, it's just the way he does it is just like, no human does that, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah. I also don't remember the dialogue, so... 
Because we're writing our own stuff anyway. We are writing our own stuff. Yep. Come on. Shoot him! You should have, a, you should have one of the Barneys be like, oh, gr oh, no, not these two. Just like sarcastically. Oh, no, here comes Whoa! trouble. How many of these guys are there? Shoot the scientist. He's right there. Get him! Oh, I'm. I, okay. Yeah, you know. Um, I'm not even bad. They they outplayed me <laughs> by like a lot. <laughs> the funny thing is, too, I don't think you're playing. You're not even playing the sequence properly. I'm not. Am I? Wait, am I not? No. Wait, what? What's this, what's uh, the proper way to do this? There's a there's a crate in the on the, the fucking lowered flat car. Yeah. What about it? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, they definitely they definitely outplayed me here. So I'm. I'm. Yeah. I, I'm I, more interested if you uh, see if you survive this. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Yeah, there's right. that. Um, you know, a fully loaded. Uh, Are you kidding me? Cow. Yeah. It doesn't doesn't reach it. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Yeah. That yeah. was there the entire time. You could have uh, got them with that. Oh. Not too late. Get at least one. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So um. Bad, bad game design. <laughs> I didn't realize that. All right. Um, assuming that we're not there, I would have been like, okay, that was a pretty okay fight, and I just played poorly, and I accept the fact that I have 12 HP. Um, but no, I. Are you supposed to like break the crate or something? Like. Yeah. How I was you... I was like, because uh, my my my. My memory's not the best. I was fully expecting you to break the crate, and then that's when the door opens up. But no, the, the door opens up independently. No, that that's just bad game design. No, um, yeah. Also, I had no idea the crate was breakable. It didn't look breakable. It looked plastic. It so, looked looked like kind of like a the, the standard breakable wooden texture, except now it was green. It was green. Green green boxes tend not to be breakable in Half Life, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it looked breakable to me because it's it, it still had the, that recognizable wood pattern. Oh, it did. I didn't even pay attention to that. Um, yeah, because I was getting shot at by the time <laughs> I was close yeah. enough to the box, so I didn't realize you could break it. I wasn't gonna inspect the texture for breakability. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's also weird to have like a fully um, loaded 50 cal with gun shield and tripod just in a crate. Yeah. Just like that too. Yeah, honestly, if I were to redo this, the simple solution is just don't put it in a crate. Just have it out in the open. Why would you hide it? Why would you make life hard for your player, you know? Do you hate your player? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that, the, the answer is yes because it's a gearbox and they hate their players, but... Me, and even then, like me personally, like there's a point where if you're not paying attention, like I don't care anymore. Um, like I'll, oh. give, I'll give you like one or two tries, but after that, like now nah, you're on your own, fool. Health. Let's see if the stealth crouch thing actually works. I don't think it does, but is that a is that a tank? That's a tank. Ah! Get it! Ah! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I don't understand what just happened. A very resilient. Oh my god. A very resilient um five ton truck. That's that's what happened. Ah! Get that! Leave! Immediately! Okay, I have 32 health. Oh, I got blown up. Okay. Alright, so... I think we're starting to get into questionable gearbox territory, where they do really, really, really dumb things that are just, like, difficult for no reason. I mean, also, you're also at a I'm also 12, at 12 health. health. Yeah, I don't that... know if I can fix that. That's the thing. I mean, you can... I think you can load, like, a... Uh... An older save, right? Uh, debatable. Can I do that? <laughs> do I have enough yeah. saves? Hold on. Oh, I do have auto saves. Nope. Uh, probably either the this one. Oh no, I don't want to go back here. Oh, you already did. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Well, hmm, all right. Uh, what's the play here? Do I just start cheating? <laughs> like, what, what do I do? I don't <laughs> think this is actually playable. <laughs> Uh Yeah, you ain't you ain't getting more health. Oh god, I actually just milked this entire area dry and I this is no more health. Yeah. Uh... Alright. I'm actually kind of upset at this because Oh and the scientist is dead, so you can't um I can't get, yeah, at I least can't, get health. I can't get health from him. 
Ah. You don't want to cheat. I think you have to replay this area again. Yeah. I don't want to replay this area again, though. That's the thing. <laughs> you know what? Hold, hold, how about this? I'll save this manually. Um, Can I name what it's called? I don't think so. Okay, so that's just the save. And then I'll load this one. I'll try to not do as badly as I did last time. You also have uh, the grenade launcher, too. Uh, True. But the magnum is shockingly good for some reason. Wow, he tanked that like a boss. Ow. Hello? Oh, shut up. Alright, that went a lot better than last time. I'm still about to die, though. <laughs> At least there's health kits, though. Really, all you need to do is just uh, save after this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, see, I, I, I wasn't going to read that text. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's, it's definitely like the breakable crate, except now it's green and a lava markings. It is, markings. yeah, I, I, I interpreted that as plastic, but now it, it definitely is wood. I think it's just like the low res that's just like not, yeah. Yeah. If I, wa if I really wanted players to break it, I would probably just suck it up and make it brown, you know? I would have just not had it in a crate. That too. Like, if it has to be in a crate, make it brown. But, like, the solution is really just don't put it in a crate in the first place. But I guess if it's... Now, if it's not in a crate, then the question would be... Um, would the, the HCU use it? Um, no, because it's pointed the wrong way. You know, you know what could be interesting, though? I think if the 50 cal were, like, mounted, like, here-ish somewhere, that way you have... It could be useful for the previous fight as well, you know? Or maybe like on I this guess. car, like if it was mounted here, then you could use it, you could have like a field of fire against the guys who's over there. You'd still have flanking rounds and they could still get the jump on you, but, you know. Yeah. I think that would improve this area substantially. Ah! 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 Crap. <laughs> I, I Good thing you saved! Yeah. Good thing I saved. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, let's do this one first. And then this one second. There we go. Alright. No! Why is it so slow? Why did he think putting a grenade there is a good idea? Weird. Alright. Yeah, that went a lot better. Yep, I actually have armor now. Alright. And, and health. And health, yeah. Right. And he didn't even break- I don't think he even broke all the crates this time, too. So yeah. there's probably still like one or two ones left. Do these have health in them? I don't think they do. No. No, no. But I mean, like, Half-Life 1's also weird with that, which just Yeah. Anything might have anything, so... Yeah. Um... I like how they just ran straight into the 50, because they're smart. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Oh, wait, no. Crowbar. There we go. <laughs> Run! Oh my god, that failed completely. Also, does that tank have uh, the Bradley's toes on the side? It does, yeah. <laughs> it you know, an M1. Actually, the, at this at this point, it's gonna be all uh, A1s. An M1 A1, you know, with a 120 millimeter smoothbore cannon that you know can engage targets better than a toe. Also has a toe on it. <laughs> 
I think this is the this is the play. They just snipe them at range with the pistol. Because they're apparently morons who can't figure out how to chase me. There we go. There we go. Look at Barney being all smart. <laughs> Did I destroy the tank? No, I didn't. How many shots does it take to kill it? I don't know. The thing for me too is like now that I know more about tanks, it's just weird seeing people shoot uh, tanks at the front. Or rather the Abrams at the front, because that's literally where all yeah, the armor is. That's where you're not supposed to shoot the Abrams. Yeah. And also the fact that the turret always completely explodes. Yeah, that's not a thing uh, on the Abrams. <laughs> I mean, it is when like you, it, get, it runs over like an IED or something, because the turret's not secured. It's it's just held in by gravity, I'm pretty sure. Um, or maybe, maybe like it, it's like... It is, yeah, it's held in by crap. gravity. Yeah, it's, uh, it's held in by its weight. Um, but the thing is, like... When it detonates, it has the blowout panels, yeah, so yeah. it's not gonna pop off like that. That would be that would be pretty cool though to just actually just see the blowout panels in action. That would be cool. Too bad there's no Abrams in Decay. Yeah, would have been interesting. Uh, I would have I would have said do that as well as have the crew uh, bail out. But potentially on fire, that'd be pretty cool. See, even Call of Duty One did that. So it's definitely doable. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Actually, you know what? Hold on. Yeah! 200 IQ Barney Calhoun. And then he gets shot. And then he di Wait! <laughs> I have like 20 health! How did that kill me? <laughs> Cycling real fast. Alright, yeah, cause uh... They use the semi-auto mode on the spas in this game. Something I, I like too about the, the animations of Half-Life 1 is the, they actually shoulder the sh shotgun too. It's not like uh, the combine where they just kind of hip fire it. Hip fire it, yeah, yeah. yeah they, actually, they actually shoulder it properly. Honestly, like is, uh, if, uh, cool. if I have my say, like I would say we should also do that, but I don't know, people might get mad. We need animators. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's really what it comes down to. Yeah. That and flipping, and flipping animations is something we, I mean, we, we really need, should do as well. We need animators anyway because the uh, the the um, the firing animations from Half Life Two don't line up with our models, so mm, we need yeah. to fix that anyway. I mean, we oh, have I animators. Like... It's just like they're all busy and they haven't done character animations in like forever. Wow, I missed. Come on, really? There we go. Yeah, I think like hell, like half half the the errors that are currently getting thrown on the console are all the uh, all the like player models. They're the player NPC. models that have the wrong animations. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll deal with it someday. That was very strange. That was odd. That was very strange, <laughs> yeah. Where's the guy? Oh, I see his feet. Can I shoot his feet? No! <laughs> Dude, don't fucking shoot feet! What the fuck? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> that actually worked. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now I just have to blow up this tank. Alright, let's go. Yes, use the main gun on a truck instead of like, you know, the coax or something. Fucking use like a, uh... I don't know. Wait, hold on, this tank is on a, tr is on a train right now. What, what is the crew doing? Why are the crew just chilling in the tank on a train? Driver, driver's just doing nothing. They, they fuck, they, you know, leave them alone, they're just enjoying themselves. The commander was just like, yeah, let's just like hang out here while we get unloaded, and then like, the security guard just pops up, and then the gunner's like, "Let me shoot this guy." <laughs> like, what? Fucking okay, this with is main, this with the main gun, no less. With the main gun. And the commander's like, "Yeah, that's that's, that's cool." Go, go, and go he's, for it. he's either firing. Yeah, that's brilliant. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure he's firing heat too. He's yeah, I mean, which heat. Is granted, I mean, granted, like heat. If you only have a um, sabo and heat, you're gonna use heat. But you know, there's still mm -hmm. the coax. There's still um, 
the loader's 240, there's still the commander's 50 cal. Now, clearly what they gotta Lot do is they gotta, they gotta fire the toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> That's what they gotta do. Burn it! Um. Oh my god, my health is at 100. This never happens. It never okay. happened. <laughs> Hold on. Why is the game so loud? Maybe you should check your volume. Yeah. I keep adjusting. It's like tiny and it's still really loud. I don't know what's up. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's something to do with like your uh, like, uh, sound or something. Half Life was a real time strategy game instead of a first person shooter. Have you tried Lambda Wars? I have. I actually have. What back way back in the day when it was like really, really, really early. But uh, I, 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 I got the latest version, and I really need to try it. it it's all right. But then again, I'm not a. I'm not really a real time strategy dude. So. Hey, maybe I'll play that at some point. Oh, yeah. speaking of which, apparently one of the real time strategy games ended up becoming a first person shooter, and they called it the Command and Conquer Renegade. You know what? What else? What other RTS game became a first-person shooter game? What? Halo. <laughs> Halo. Halo. One. Halo. Yeah. Halo One. See, this is, this has been my Halo quota for the for the stream. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta mention Halo at least once. <laughs> what was the point of me coming here? No point. Got it. Okay. But yes, fun fact. Uh, originally, Halo was an RTS for the Mac. Was it RTS for the Mac? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so I can tell you this much. It would it would probably gain about the same fandom size as like uh, what's it called, uh, StarCraft or something. But it would never be as legendary as it is right now. Oh no, they did they did the absolute correct thing by first putting it on Xbox and second making it a first person shooter. Um, y yeah, yeah, it would. Uh, but you know, it would have been interesting to see where the RTS went. Oh crap! 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 crap. Um. But yeah, um, that's where the Warthog came from, that's where the Mongoose came from, all from the RTS. Um, they were RTS Scorpion units. Uh, I don't know if the Scorpion was in the RTS, but they, they, it was there. Have they, yeah. you ever heard of Halo Reach? Uh, yes, what about Halo Reach? Is Halo Reach a prequel? What about Reach? Is it a prequel or something? It's a prequel to Halo yeah. 1, yeah. I have problems with Halo Reach. A lot of people like it. I like it with an asterisk. Whoa, what the hell? I mean, I'll say this much. I haven't... I I think I owned Halo Reach, but I never really played it as much. But, you know, I'll say oh. this. Like, at least it's better than the uh, 340... What's, what's the fucking company called again? 343. 343, three, yeah, it's a little bit better than that, those, I guess. I know, I know an awesome series you can check out. I don't know how you feel about that, but, you know. Oh my god. That is... I know an awesome game series you can check out. Serious Sam. Did I just get stuck? Oh, no, that's, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> have, you heard, have you heard of Serious Sam? I have heard of Serious Sam. I have not played it. Uh, the first one released all the way back in 2001 for Windows XP. Right okay. Is that interesting? This is a stupid puzzle, but I actually like it a lot. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh boy. What's going on here? Holders. Yeah. Hold on. Do you actually have to type them from here? They're very confused because they can't get a sight line on me. <laughs> okay, I think I deserved that one. Wow, they keep running just as I fire. Can you imagine trying to play Blue Shift on the Dreamcast? I missed. He's gonna grade imagine? me again. Yep, called it. Okay. Can you, can you imagine that DK White? Ooh, 
That was good. All right. Hey, DK, why? What's up? Can you imagine trying to play Blue Chef on the Dreamcast? Uh, that would be a nightmare. Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, the, some people say the controller was ass. Yeah, right? the Dreamcast controller was very strange. I never used it, but it looked very strange, and I can't imagine actually using it. So when, uh, well, one of the neat parts about the controller is that it has a VMU, a Visual Memory Unit. Um, health. Health? It's basically it's basically like a memory card. In the controller. The, yep, it plugs into the controller. That's very strange. So when, uh, you, the neat part about it is that the VMU can tell what game you're playing. Like it'll show up a symbol for that game you're playing. Isn't that a bit neat? That it'll show you what type of game you're playing. Pretty cool. Can anyone hear me? Oh, there he is. You have to turn the turntable. Yeah, I know, I know. Can anyone hear me? Oh, have you ever watched Bonnie's Mine? I have not, actually. It was it's a really awesome series made by Ian Wiley Money Pirate. Now what? <laughs> bring the train. Yeah. Now you can bring the train. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Though. You have to get to the front and uh, press the button. This one was the opposite side than the one that I was on. Okay, let's try the other side. It is the other side. Okay, got it. Oh, shut and, uh, up. Shut up, Rosenberg. That skybox looks basic. Yeah, it's not that bad. I think of Half-Life skyboxes, it's not one of the worst ones. I didn't say I didn't say it was bad. I said it looked basic. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. I wonder Black Mesa looks a lot better. Yes, I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seen as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor hell. Ah, yes. yes the silent protagonist. One of the old prototype labs. It involves something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also... Imagine if Bonnie could speak in this. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm. What would your first reaction be if Bonnie could speak in this? Uh, I would be like, yes. That would be great. I really don't like how Gearbox has, like... They they have they both have the silent protagonist, but also they have the silent protagonist speak while being silent. Like that's I don't like that. Also, I really hate this this thing where you jump on him. Really don't like it. All right, where's the dudes? Just something about this interaction that just. Makes me feel feels really off. weird. Yeah, it feels off, exactly, yeah. Why is the sprite poking through this geometry? That's very strange. Oh, no. oh my god. It's not working. Why is this not working? <laughs> I think you can grab me onto something. Oh, it's a it's a ladder. Okay, that's why it doesn't work. That's why it like pushes me off the other way. <laughs> Come on. Wow, wrong weapon. Come on, get out of here. 
He really doesn't want to come out here. I mean, understandably, I guess, but... Have you ever played Portal? Yes, I have. What's your favorite Portal game? Um, Here's the thing about Portal. I feel like Portal 1 and Portal 2 are very different games that are likable for different reasons. What the yeah. hell? I didn't even kill him! Um, yeah. I like Portal. Yeah, Portal 2 has a not so scary soundtrack. Yeah, the thing about Portal 2 is that it's. It's good for reasons that are completely different from why Portal 1 was good. Lead the way, Calhoun. Get over here. It's like, why does Portal 1 have such an uneasy soundtrack? Like, why is Portal 1's soundtrack so creepy? Because Portal 1 is intended to be a very creepy game, right? But not Portal 2? Portal 2 is... is not... It, it tries not to do that as much. There are some places where, like, things are kind of atmospheric, but it never does it really get creepy, right? It doesn't try to do that. Um, so oh. that... But it, it, it's good for different reasons, right? Portal 1 was great oh. because of the, the creepy atmosphere. Oh, shut up. No, you don't. Get over here. Come on. Oh, and, uh, apparently, apparently, Mortal One has Chella in a place where she doesn't un that she doesn't understand and is scared of everything. Right, because it's mysterious. You you don't understand what's going on in this facility, and when the big reveal happens, like. You know, it, it's impactful, right? Whereas Portal 2, they, they realized that they couldn't achieve the same thing, so they tried something completely different, and they succeeded for the most part, like, you know, but it's not the same thing. Yeah, and, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like in Portal 2, Chow has seen it before and is ready to take on the fight again. Exa exactly, right? And they, they lean into the fact that you know exactly what's going on. There's no more mystery, really, so the way they combat that is by just, like, putting you in, like, increasingly ridiculous scenarios, and it becomes more of a comedy game, which is really good, and they did it really well, right? One of my, one of my favorite parts is we lay up. It's like, are, are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, it's like, if there's no more ways to solve them, and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, oh, what am I missing? <laughs> Rooms that I... I honestly don't know why I find Wheatley so hilarious. Do you know why Wheatley's so hilarious? Well, they wrote him that way. You can't break these anymore? Damn. Nope, you can't. Sad. Poison Rosenberg. Where'd he go? Let's go. Imagine a degree larger and have that one go reload. Uh, slow down, Calhoun. Oh, shut up. Can't keep up at this pace. Yes, you can. Wait, wasn't I just here? No, this is a different place. Okay. Yes, look what would your first reaction be if the grenade launcher for have left one good reload? Yeah, I'm actually thinking about making the peer review grenade launcher reload because um, there are some places where it's actually kind of in it allows you to do kind of insane things if you if you don't have some sort of delay on it. Was I just here? I think I was just here, wasn't I? Over there. Was and basically, the way the grenade launcher would reload is I do eject the use casing and put a new one in, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wasn't I just here? Yep. Wait. Here's where you were. Get over here. Yes, yeah, stick together. Get over here. Why are you stopping? All right. Let's hope we don't run into any more of those soldiers. I don't know why he does it. All right, there you go. The new construction. Yes, here it is. You have to break through that. To break through this to get to the elevator. What happens if I did that before? He'd be like, "I see you already found the elevator." Then, later. Let's hurry Bye. then. <laughs> you, should, you, should, you shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Now you're gonna have to go back for him. 
Is this actually an elevator? Yes. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It, it didn't seem to move last time. Yeah, see, it's not moving. It just teleports you, I guess. Yeah. Get over here. There he goes. There you're at the lab. Already? Yep. Right. You won't even know I'm here. So you got four more chapters to go. Oh boy. Well, I hope the old oh. Focal point. With any luck, my old chargers. Old chargers. That's pretty cool. Chargers that Black Mesa doesn't use anymore. A nice touch. I like this. It's pretty cool. Good details. Ah, here we are. Walter. Rosenberg. Thank God you Walter Bennett. Managed to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you He's a character that's mentioned, but um, not seen anywhere in the original Half-Life. He's also mentioned in Opposing Force as well. Oh yeah, that guy. I remember him. It's like, ah oh, yes, Walter. We were finally able to successfully detach one of the particle creatures from its point of gestation. As before, we were still only we able go. to merge the creature into large and other organic materials. Unfortunately, the administrator has called me down to the anomalous materials lab this morning for an important experiment, so I don't have any time to further my analysis. Thanks, Mr. Number 1176, and long anything else you can find. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't. We lost contact with the survey group shortly. That was very strange. Only after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses. Is the older technology. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now this device oh, I can't could be used as a focal Dang. That would have been funny. Point. You can't actually press it yourself for now. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do Annoying. this. Annoying. Seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate. That comes later in the game. We yeah. should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. All right, I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become unstable very quickly. I find it's kind of strange how, like... It's ready! How they just put a teleporter lab next to a train yard and then they didn't bother dismantling it and they just kind of boarded it up. That feels like extremely insecure for very high government secrets. I don't know. Kind of a neat effect. There. 
Go back to portal. Then, take a focal point. Ah, music. I think the music here does make sense. Oh, the music that played here originally was Space Ocean. Ah, <laughs> he just whacked the guy. Alright. Is Space Ocean more creepy? In this section? Can't go that way. That's annoying. Healing pool over there. Uh, well, I guess I have no choice but to piss off that guy. I'm just forced to take damage. And now I'm stuck. You're actually stuck? Yeah, I'm literally stuck. Okay, well. That's great. How did you actually get stuck? I have no idea. Well, okay, that's let's uh let's try that again. Do you have an SSD? Yeah, I do. I don't know if it's installed in the SSD though. Alright, let's try you this. Have an you have an HDD and SSD? Yeah, I have both. I don't remember which one I installed Blue Shift on. I just have an SSD. Is it what's called a hybrid drive? Uh, those exist, but I don't have one. I just have one HDD and one SSD. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna get whacked, but that's okay. Okay, cool. Much better. Not really sure why they put that thing right in front of the grate, considering that a lot of people will just be forced to take damage there, but okay.
Yeah, I, th I think I understand why Black Mesa removed the flashlight battery mechanic. It's kind of annoying. Where? Oh. Just guess which one to go in. Oh, that's the right way. Or maybe not. Nope. Okay, well, it is a way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Some of the echoes in this game are weird. Yeah. Like some of them sounds like legit buzzing noises. Like when you invent on Earth. Ah, water, yes. Just what I needed right now. And this is the right way. <laughs> Did that headcrab drown? No, he didn't. Headcrabs don't drown in this game. Alien forces.
that's fun. Oh, you can't go over there. Really? Yeah. Oh, well. That's annoying. Why would you put a hole there that you can't go in? Very strange decision making. Oh. Well, there is a way you could go over there. But uh, you have to go before that ship blows up that platform. That's the way I would do it, basically. Yeah. Not a fan of that decision making. Pretty neat waterfall, though. Look at Bull Squid. Oh, no. Can you imagine if how those had tails? Ah, here we are. What would your first reaction be if someone gave how a tail? Uh, that probably wouldn't be the worst thing. Oh, okay, interesting. That probably wouldn't be the worst thing. Give me a how a tail. Yeah. I mean, they already have a back leg. So it'll be a little redundant, but you know, I can see it working. Oh, it's the um, generator. Oh, now you just have to. Okay. Oh, I see. Now you have to line those up. I see how this works. All right. Turn it until it reaches the red yes, triangle. Yes, I know that. Perfect. Cool. Oh, 
Perfect. I feel like that could have been a much more interesting puzzle. Yo, yeah, hey, alien controllers, controllers. Good. Wow, how did I die so quick? Right. Try using a grenade launcher on them. That on. Is there seriously no, like, additional armor here? No. There's... Fine. Well, yeah, this is Zen. There's no. There's no Kevlar here. <sighs> Kevlar is illegal in Zen. Well, not necessarily illegal, but, um, not safe. It's not safe to have Kevlar in space. Alright, let's try something a little different. Get back! Because you would get crushed by that. Um, the Vortigaunt only comes after you get that focus of it as a line. Yes, I, I realized that. I feel like not having armor in this section is kind of detrimental to this entire section. Oh my god. Oh, frag. Get back. Wow, I can't actually get that. Oh, I can't. Watch out, head grabs up here. And it's not dead. Back up for the water dog. What? I don't know how that happened. That was very strange. place to put an autosave, but okay. Hi 
I think I'm just gonna ignore them. Okay, that works. Wow, they do 10 damage ago. Whoa, this is, I can see the edges of the box. <laughs> That's funny. Good job, Mr. Calhoun. We began to worry when you didn't come back for some time, but it looks as though you were able to get the device operational. The signal we're getting is very strong, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. The power reserves were just enough to open the field for your trip to the border world. If we plan on keeping the teleporter open long enough to calculate a safe exit point and allow time for everyone to go through, someone will have to go to the lower level and retrieve another power cell. A few of our colleagues went down there a while ago, but we haven't heard from them since. We can only fear for the worst. I hate to keep putting you in this position, but you must realize that if someone doesn't go down there, then none of us will get out of here alive. Besides, you're the best equipped to deal with any dangers that may be waiting. Best here, equipped. I have, I have 10 health and no, leads to the power and no armor. Follow me. Go get some down there in the power room. Um, try the health station again. Not that much though. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we are. Down below are the old power generators that were used to service this lab. You should find what we're looking for down there. Once you've located a new power cell, make sure it's charged and send it up the freight lift. Good luck. Freight lift? Oh, okay, I see. Power struggle. I know the days of the chapters far too well. Now you have to go back down the, the way you came. That is the dumbest level design decision ever. Okay, yeah, that's actually stupid. You uh, want to give a little bit of charges? I'm assuming the satchels in this game have the normal controls and not the inverted controls after the Yep. Okay. After the update. Nope. There we go. Cool. Did it. Wow. Alright. 
Yeah, so... I am not a fan of this entire sequence where you have to go up there and then come back. That, that, that's not, that's not good. But then again, that was all Gearbox could do at the time. Uh, no, they, there's a ton of ways they could have made it not that bad. That is an interesting sound. That just circles you back. Alright, so that's the Skyrim door. Oh, you can't make it go back. Okay, you can't. Okay. And you lost the health. Yes, I saw that. Nothing else to scavenge here? Nope. Okay, cool. Power meter low. Okay. Don't get close to them. That was a bad idea. Grenade! Don't oh, use the magnet. That. He survived that. That's hilarious. Watch out for that grenade out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look. He's gonna walk into it himself. You have to press it one button at a time. But... You don't always have to do that. Oh, one of the scariest supposed force tracks. Made. Listen to this track. Listen to how scary it is. Just immediately die. Okay. Lovely. Hey, you interrupted it. That's okay. We didn't really add too much to the... Room anyway. Uh... Okay. Alright, so this is the one puzzle from this game that I actually remember. And I hate it. Why? Because it makes no sense. You just have to blow it up. Yeah, but you have to connect the electrical fuse. Well, someone broke it in the process. Yeah, that's not how electricity works, for the most part. So, yeah. Bad puzzle. Anyway. Wow, that's a lot of head crabs. Why would he use a grenade launcher on them? Oh, there we go. Really? 
that didn't connect. Yeah. There it goes. Whoa. They are very not smart. Wow. Well, no, no, no. Two of them actually survived somehow. Whatever. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, what does this do? Lowers that. Oh. Okay, then. Okay, alright. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a platform section in the coolant. They got across on the other side. What is this doing? Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, that's one thing about the Half-Life 1 crowbar that I don't really like. It's very hard to aim it. Alright, let's try this. So we're now down here. That was... wait. Does that mean this entire area was underwater? Interesting. Like, huh. What are you doing? What are you doing, DKY? So that implies this entire area was underwater, which is a very questionable way to build this facility. But okay. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> oh, unless this door was closed or something. That door was closed. Okay, yeah. Still a very strange way to design this. Like, why would you. Alright, whatever. Then again, Black Mesa has never made any sense, so. It's just another example of that. Alright, so we have this, we have more coolant ball things. Oh. Yay, gold yep. source physics. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can align this. Oh, well, you know half of source, right? Yeah. They got delisted from Steam. Did they finally delist it? Yep. When was that? Recently. How recently? During Half-Life's 25th anniversary update. I don't think they delisted it. They just made it less um, accessible through, through searches. You can still yeah. like buy it and you can still download it. Yeah. They explicitly said they didn't want to delist it because there's a lot of games that rely on it. So they're not going to yeah. actually delist it for real. And then you can plan for them across the, um, across the coolant. Right, let's try this now. Right, that should be aligned correctly, but we'll see. Yep, that's yep, correct. that's good, okay. Oh no. Time to not be here. Alright, I have successfully avoided fighting the alien grunts so far, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this time. I think this calls for the rocket launcher. Wow, he survived that, okay. That's impressive. Alright, so... Uh, let's... let's see if there's any health. There's not health. Okay, great. Uh, now I have to... Do that. Okay, cool. 
swear to God. Yes, I can see that. So, oh, can you guys have the blue shot for Modern Warfare 2018 style weapon animation? Uh, I can see that happening. It wouldn't be like that bad. Speaking of which, that's what Black Mesa Blue Shift is doing. I'm okay with that. I think I'll just let them fight. Oh, I can't just do that. Dang. Alright. <laughs> that would've been good, though. They have more rockets? I do. Oh, apparently you can AK style. Apparently you can reload the MP5 AK style. Uh, you can do that. It's not something practical. I would recommend. Yeah, it's not practical. You can do it though. Uh, not practical. Yeah, I wouldn't do it mostly because um, if you hit the bottom of the the, the release latch, sometimes it doesn't come out. Oh. Yeah. Whereas in the AK, it's uh, it's like the whip, because of the pivoting mechanism, it's easier for it to fall out if you do that. Yeah. But um, the MP5 magazine is not doesn't pivot. It it slides in, so there's like still friction and stuff. Over there, over there. Apparently, it's impossible to AK reload the G3 rifles. Uh. The Magwell is. Yeah, that, I believe that, yeah. But it's still cool that the last. Yeah, it's cool. Realistically though, you probably shouldn't AK reload most things, even an AK. <laughs> yeah. They have you ever heard of the Iraq AK reload? It just looks cool. It doesn't mean you should do it. Did you guess what it is, though? Alright. Unit 1, Did unit 2, turn you on, turn you on. Well, the Iraq AK reload is when you hold the bolt pack, mag flick, and then release it. Alright, so those are on, even though that doesn't... Oh, okay, they still have to do their thing. Okay, I see. I love science fiction. Very sci-fi. Hold on, mother. That is extremely not how generators actually work, but sure. I will, I will take it. Black Mesa has had weirder stuff in it. Uh. I don't know what's up with the screen just randomly changing direction sometimes. It's very odd. Why can't it go there? Oh, is it because of this guy? Yeah. Oh, right, okay, fine. I see. No, that doesn't work. That's where that is, and then, okay.
Whoa! I didn't kill him, that's right. That is weird physics, but okay. Somehow not dead. I was hoping you'd show up. You have to get this power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. How about don't block the door? You can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to move, but sure. Oh, um, a very strange way to charge a battery, but ooh, okay. Yes, you have to actually you have to actually put it in. Cool. All right. And okay, now I can just go back. I mean. I don't think the idea of that entire sequence was entirely bad, it's just that it's mostly let down by the fact that the explosive puzzle was kind of dumb. But the rest of it was probably okay, like, as good as you can get in a Gold Source game. This time, however, yeah. the process is going to be a bit more complex, so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry, there's no time to waste. Alright, let's do it. System levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control room and activate the main power. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. Don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. The process is simple, and I'll let you know when you need to do something. Interesting. Look, pull the switch, or else I'll, I'll just keep saying pull the switch. He didn't he'll say get pull back. the switch. Wait, he'll say it. What are you waiting for, Calhoun? There we go. Get up to the control room and locate the main power switch. Very good. Told ya. Stand by, Calhoun. Once the system is initialized, it'll take a few moments for the interpolating resonance coils to achieve focus. Oh no, the primary coolant light 
line has been ruptured. Calhoun, go to the valve located on the catwalk and release the pressure. Hurry, before the system overheats. Really? There we go. This is no good. Now keep turning the crank until the pressure level reaches normal. Yeah, I'm busy. Just a moment. Thank you. The system has stabilized and the main capacitors are charging. When the main charge meter reaches full, I'll need you to open the displacement field from the control room. We're almost there. Oh, that's the main reading. Okay. <laughs> that was not obvious. Okay, the system is fully charged. Throw the switch. Press the button. Press it. There you go. There, the field is open. Go now, Walter. Very good, Calhoun. I'll keep you charging the system for the next teleport event. Military. Um, you're gonna have to press the button for the next one as well. I know. We've reached full charge again. Open the field, Calhoun. You must go now, Simmons. Now Rosenberg needs to go through that. Freaking HECU soldiers. Oh, it's ready. All right, it's ready. But then you're last. Good luck, Mr. Calhoun. I'll see you on the other side. What if you just jump through yourself? Here they come. Oh, I have two of them. All right, whatever. You're gonna have to get ready to press the button as soon as that thing's done charging. That's okay. Blow up. There we go. Oh, what? There we go. Long way. Yes, I know that. Yeah. Good job. Ah, there he is. Calhoun, you've arrived. <laughs> you didn't come through right away. We thought that the... Oh, he can't no. move. There's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun. His body seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement. Now you're in Zen. Freeman. Outside for questioning. What the hell for? We got him. Let's kill him now. Uh, and if they find the body, what are they doing with Freeman? Body? What body? <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing with the poor well, Freeman guy? I want the crowbar. The malfunction occurred at the last Fine. moment, and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. If that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were actually five mile tunnel. This half -brained idea. Yep. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it. Don't further comment. Okay. Great. Well, it was alright. 
It wasn't exactly um, the best thing Gearbox has ever done, nor was it the worst. There were some <coughs> questionable design decisions in there, but there were also some really good stuff in there. So like, I guess it's a mixed bag, which is more than I could say for some other stuff they've done. All right. I guess that I guess that explains why Opposing Force got overwhelmingly positive reviews. I don't know about that. I would say over Opposing Force has a lot of worse things going on with it. I think there was a bunch of stuff in there that was kind of questionable. That it seemed like Gearbox just kind of did it because they felt like doing it, even if it made no sense. Yeah, I, I think Opposing Force is not very well thought out um, in general. It, it has a lot of problems. Um, that said, there's a couple of things in there that, that are really nice, um, but not the entire thing. I think I think yeah. people I think people like generally like Opposing Force mostly just because it's different, right? Yeah. It, it tries to do something different, but the 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 thing about it though, in my opinion, is I don't think it does. I don't think it's different enough. I think they could they could have tried to do more with it, but they kind of didn't. And they tried to they could have done more something more coherent with it because in the end, like the whole idea that you're the bad guy is kind of you, you it never really leans into that in any meaningful way which i think is a, a mistake on their part they, yeah. they should they should have done more with that but they didn't because ultimately you're still like a protagonist even though yeah 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 so i don't know all right well that was blue shift uh it's okay like it's mostly competent. There's a couple of things in there that were questionable that I would probably change. Um, yeah, it was, it was solidly okay. Let, let's put it that way. It was okay. Speaking of which, apparently Gearbox made Borderlands. They did make Borderlands, yes. I never played it, so I have no comment on that. But apparently that's their most successful thing that they've ever done. So good job for them yep. on that, I guess. You know, it's not really my kind of game, so I don't think I'll I will be playing that. They also worked on the um, 20th anniversary of Duke Duke in 3D. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 that was a thing they did. Yeah, they did a lot of things. They also did the Halo PC port. And they did uh, a bunch of other stuff right as well. But yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Blue Shift. It was okay. I, yep. I I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was amazing, but it was okay. It wasn't like that bad. There were a couple of parts there that were kind of bad, but like for the most part, it was like, yeah. All right. Uh, that, was, that was that was an experience, I guess. I guess, I guess you'll hop off for now. I will probably be doing that. Uh, I will let you guys know if I ever do another one of these. Okay. See ya. See ya.